like we're definitely here. What's going on, everybody? Man, we got a lot of people in the chat so far. We got Crypto Rocketeer, Brett, 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 Nick F. Crypto Rocketeer, Brett, and Crypto Rocketeer, Brett, Crypto Rocketeer, and Nick F. Are the only ones in here. Andrew's in here. Nufo's in here. Frodo, what's going on, guys? And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what happened? Why AMC down? Is the squeeze over? No, the squeeze is not over. My goodness, Brett, we know the squeeze isn't over. Nick, finally cloudy and cooling off, getting some hurricane rain this week, hopefully. Hurricane rain, hopefully. I don't know if that's anything that anybody would hope for. My, my hair seems really tall today. I don't know what's up with that, but we'll figure that out as the day goes on, right? That's... Okay, well, acceptable. What are you going to do? If it's tall today, it's tall today. Can't do anything about it. Brett, you could skip the game and go for some... Go for a good old scrap. Nah. Hate idiots saying that they're fans and go fighting hooligans should be banned for life. Nobody go to a game and get banned for life. We don't need Crypto Rocketeer calling you a hooligan. Come on now. I'm going with the girl, so she better be able to hold her own. That's what I'm talking about, Brett. She better be able to. If it works out, I'm going to have to pretend to care about soccer, though. So not looking forward to that. Oh, my gosh. Well, dude, you can just be like me. And uh, just say, you know, soccer's a very nice sport. The athletes are athletic, and uh, soccer, it's, it's a good sport, and uh, the, the, it's just, it's fun to play and watch soccer. Yes. You were the best, Clay. Eu canto pra você. Obrigado. Você também. Every morning, everybody. JB, what's going on, man? Hey, Clay, out for a walk again, lurking on the audio. Johan! What's the, what kind of grade are you walking on, man? Because you know what I have to say about your little walk, which is probably on flat ground? Steeper! Go up some stairs, man. Jog up a hill. Make it steeper, Johan. What is happening? Hi, everyone. What's going on, Joanne? Hello, everyone. Clay, hope you're good. Matt said, good deal. He'd be looking for you on Twitter DM. And Chris, actually, I did message him on Twitter last night, so I don't know if he's looking that hard for it, but if he is, then, uh... It shouldn't be too hard to find. I messaged him last night, but he hasn't answered yet. Clay, you are also Eastern Standard Time Clay. Yes, I am. I am also the Eastern Standard Time Clay. This is correct, Brett. Thank you. The athletes are athletic. Comment of the year. DBG604. They are, man. Those soccer athletes are always athletic. Johan shouting at the hills. Steeper! Steeper! Johan probably does shout at hills just like that, man. Nick F, he goes to the movies, and the thing comes on the screen that says, silence your cell phones, and he yells, silence. So Johan's out walking around, going up a hill, and he yells, steeper! Exactly, man. That's exactly what's going on right now. SD, good morning, Clay, bro. What's going on, SD? How you doing, man? They're very good kickers. Yes, they are very good kickers. Those, those athletes, they can kick, man. Those soccer players. Hi, y'all. Can't stay but a minute, but wanted to stop and drop a like. Marine Corps brat. Thank you very much for... For stopping by, saying hello, and look, I don't know if you're working or what you got going on, but shoot, swing off to the bathroom sometime and hang out with us a little bit later. Nick's got an Ortex update. Nick, we love the Ortex updates, man. Estimated short interest change, plus 0.03%. Returned shares, 1.26 million. Borrowed shares, 1.3 million. Borrowed change, 33,000. Estimated current short interest free float, 19.93%. Whew! And 101.92 million. For the shares, that's a lot of shares they got to cover, guys. Utilization 90.47%. Ow, ow, ow. Looking good to me, man. He said something is up with his Twitter. He's getting DMs late. Mm -hmm. If I ever tell you the same thing, man, it's just because I haven't looked at him. Good morning, guys. John de Jesus, good morning to you. Yeah, you're here. I was so sick of the political stuff on other channels. Man! We, you can be sick of the political stuff here on, on my channel, too, so it's all right. You can be sick anywhere you want, but I'm just glad you're here with me, Cassie. Hit the like button. Thank you very much, guys. Hit the like button. Hello, hello everyone. Throwing those unicorns in the chat right now. All right, Ugandan Toad. El Campo, what's up, bro? What's up, El Campo? How you doing? Sorry the price went down. I bought another share. That's what I'm talking about, man. Buying that dip. I love it, dude. What do we got? AMC at $50.12 right now. <clears throat> Loving this $50 level of support. Hanging out there today. Sure, we're down a little bit from yesterday, around the 51, 50 mark. Proving to be a decent level of resistance as we expected. 
And uh, what do we got here if we go at the 30 minute chart? Yeah, we, you can see that we tested that. We've been around this 5150 range for a while, tried to test the 5253, and now we're back down into the $50. Support range right here. Guess what, guys? Anybody have an idea of where it might go if we fall down through for $50 per share? If we fall down through 50 anybody want to throw a guess out there where we might be if we fall through 50 Not to say we will because we're rising pretty nice right now, and hopefully we continue this gain and go back up to 5150 that's what I want to see. Hello, Frodo. Boo, yeah. What's up, Kelly? How you doing? Good morning, Apes. 58.50. Yeah, man. 58.50 would be very nice. If we fell through 48.50, we'd go down to 58.50. I really want 58.50. 48, 48.50. Yeah, you guys know the drill. Woohoo! Great day to you, Clay. I just bought the dip times one. Yalamed. Very nice, man. Fall to 58.50. That's what I would like to see. 38, 20,000. 38,200. Interesting. I wish I had 38,200 subscribers, but I think I'm around 32,000. Oh, no! We need more, guys. Share the live stream with somebody right now. Get some more subscribers in here. Let's let's just take Stephanie's name off the top now. Until... Where is this? Yeah, until Streamlabs starts working again. 38,200, man, I would love that. 47,22. Nick going slightly lower on it. Sorry, 32,300. And don't be sorry about that. You're speaking good things. We need to go 38,200 subscribers, guys. Share the live stream with just about, I don't know, 6,000 friends of yours. Confirm. I have just recently talked with Kenny Boy. He said he'll squeeze AMC on 6th October. Ishan. Very glad that you were talking to Kenny Boy there, and hopefully he comes through on that. Homeboy is getting real political on his stream. Not a good look, Clay. Trust me, bro. Don't ever go down that rabbit hole, my friend. Dude, uh, I do like rabbits a lot, okay? I really, really like rabbits. I've had several. So here's the deal. Baby cottontail rabbits are extremely hard to keep alive. They really are. And I try my best. I've had several rabbits that were left by their mothers or like squeezed by a snake an army crawling and trying to survive and I'm telling you in in the wild less than 10% of cottontail rabbits less than 10% of cottontail rabbits survive so already if they've got something wrong with them if they've been abandoned by their parents and they they're extremely young or they've already got some sort of an injury very difficult but I do love rabbits man I would I I would if it meant that I could potentially save a wounded rabbit, I'm telling you, ten times out of ten, man, I'm jumping down that rabbit hole. Subscribe? How do I do? How do I subscribe? Crypto Rocketeer, click that button right there. If it is red and says subscribe, if it is gray and says subscribed, don't click it again. Don't do that. Chinchillas are sweet. I, I don't never seen a chinchilla. I don't think I've ever seen a chinchilla in my life, but I do like rabbits. The real question here: How many rabbits have pooped on you? Actually, no. Okay, no rabbits have actually, well, it depends. When I was a little kid, I, I did have a rabbit. So one for sure, but not a wild rabbit. Uh, no wild rabbits have actually pooped on me. But like a, a pet rabbit. I've had a pet rabbit poop on me before, but no wild ones. I don't think how much responsibility we to help people. I don't think how much responsibility we to help people. Justin, maybe, man, maybe. Hello, fam. What's up, DD214? What about that one time, Clay? Yeah, and it's also very dangerous, man, when you're mowing your lawn and there's rabbits out there. Very dangerous when you don't know they're out there. Nick, you're a horrible person, man, for reminding me of some of the most horrific moments of my life, man. Clay, do I stay here and hang out or go watch the WSL finals? Uh, why do you have to choose, JB? Why can't you do both? I think you can do both, man. Would you save a non-wounded rabbit? Like, he was just having a bad day. Dude, absolutely, man. I would absolutely play with a non-wounded rabbit if he wanted to play around, get his get his mojo back, per se, and then go have a good day with all the other rabbits out there. And he, also, rabbits are crazy, man. So I know they only have, like, a lower than a 10% survival rate, but they have a lot of babies. So they can have anywhere between 1 and 12 babies per litter. And they have uh, four to five litters a year. So think about it, man. They can have 60 rabbits a year. 
Any little rabbit you see jumping around your backyard can have up to 60 rabbits per year. And uh, I think that's a lot. So, But even then, like if, even if he was like maxing out and had 60 rabbits a year, we're talking maybe, maybe four or five of them survive. Like, come on now. That's just, that's hard to think about. Go burrow to burrow with that Bible and save them, I mean. Uh, yes, that I could also do if they would if they would like that, if they didn't run away from me. And uh, maybe I should try that. Brett, I think, I think that might be something I'm interested in. Kingdom, I agree, man. It wasn't a good look and to turn me off quite a bit. Hopefully the hot boys and girls show up and turn me back on. Well, if there's one thing I can tell you, there's more than a 10% chance that the hot boys and girls webca webcam chat is going to show up in this live stream. So the odds are in your favor there, Cup Bro. Should we get glasses? I hear you can use four screens at a time. What? Four screens at a time? How's that even possible, man? Hey, Clay, how about them Chiefs? Uh, how about them Browns, man? How about them Browns? Good old Browns fashion coming in, blowing in the fourth quarter, just like they always do, man. Predictable and never let you down. Clay, tell AMC to go to 60 today. Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, dude, I don't think I could yell at it hard enough to watch it go to 60. We we call it. We gotta retest 55. We gotta go through 55 before we get to 60. It's gonna be way too difficult. Market combat it was hilarious. Notifications of stream popped up. Claybro is live. Q and A and anal. Frank, you really like that. That's why. That's why I kept that the title that way. Just for you, man. Just so you'd be like, oh my goodness, what is this guy doing? Does anybody else have the same problem, or does Frank just need a slightly bigger phone? I think Frank might just need a slightly bigger phone. Are you saying we should short rabbits? Leah, never. Do not short rabbits. Buy rabbits long and then send them my way because I haven't really seen that many. I've only seen one in my yard this year. <coughs> baby one. And my dad has some baby ones. And then uh, they will start shorting again. Oh, Chris. Clay, last night when you mentioned to take our profit, just that's just because if they cover a portion of shares, we could have a short mini MOAS. I'm a little lost. Just now wanted to pay for him. No, 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 Chris. Yeah, man. So here's the deal. If they do go to short, if they do to go to cover their shorts, and everything is showing that they're covering shorts, we're looking at Ortex updates. B Hayes, I got you in two seconds. They're, they're everything's showing that they're covering their shorts. Ortex estimates going all the way down. Blah blah blah. They very well could be, okay, and it very well could be a a short squeeze in that aspect. Now, if everybody doesn't cover their short, or doesn't sell their shares, then sure, we are going to see the mother of all short squeezes. It's going to go. But if people start selling off and the short interest is going down, it looks like they're covering their shares. Don't think that just because we're not at $100,000, you can't take your profit. Because here's what I, I honestly think that when we get to whatever price, I don't know if it's going to be 800, 900, 1,000, 10,000, whatever, I think that there's going to be shorts taken out at the top and we could potentially have a decent chance of going for yet another squeeze. But. If we fall all the way back down to where we are now, and we're sitting at $40, $50 a share, and the peak was around $800, $900, those shorts are going to be profitable until we get back above that level. So it's all, it's all a what if at that point, man, but don't think that they're just never going to short AMC stock again. They're going to try their best to short it at the absolute top. Behaves Jesus Peace, man! Think of the super chat. Behaves Jesus Peace says... How's it going? What's up, B. Hayes? Jesus, peace, man. How's it going? B. Hayes, Jesus, peace. How's it going? How you doing, man? And one more time, B. Hayes, Jesus, peace. How's it going? Uh, guys. Where's Fur? Or, or no, where's Fur? Where's Perry? Hey, where's Perry? Perry the Platypus. Clay, answer your phone. Silence! Mr. Anything Tech, is my phone not on silence? Did you guys actually hear my phone do something? Speaking of the lava lamp, I had suggested a video of how lava lamps are made. Cassie! That, hey, is that dude that works at a lava lamp factory, the Mathmus lava lamp place? Is he in here right now? Tell us how lava lamps are made. This is basically just a little bit of kerosene, another chemical, and water in here. And then this is very similar to the wax they use, like if you're gonna get a, like if you're gonna get your legs waxed or whatever. It's very similar to that wax. And then there's a lamp down in here, and it heats it all up, and then when the water and the wax warm up, boom, it shoots it up here, gets up to the top, gets cold again, drops back down, and then gets hot again and goes back up. 
Uh, it was buzzing like my neighbor. There's no way. There's no way. Silence. All right, we are silencing the phone. Give me two seconds. But I promise you guys, there's no way that I have. Oh, there is a way. I got a, I got a message. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right, guys, two seconds. Let me. Gotta mount this bad boy back up here. That's what she said. Okay, let's see. Are we good? Preview before we show these people. We're back! Alright, let's go slightly that way. Alright, good deal. We're back again, guess who's back? Do you have a dream car in mind, post squeeze? Cleveland fan. Kia Forte, man. Kia Forte. That's, if I could have a Kia Forte, I'd be happy. No, Kia Forte was done last night. I'm I'm all good, guys. Got the car back in action. Nothing to worry about there. Kia is just It's doing good, man. It's doing real good now. Oh, put a fancy monocle on the lava lamp. Maybe a top hat. Yeah, I could deck this little bad boy out right here. Whoop! Deck this bad boy out like a little top hat and get him a little monocle. But look, I forgot to turn it on today, so you guys are getting the behind the scenes action of what the lava lamp looks like before it actually uh, turns on there. Lava lamp off, lava lamp on. Yes, and the lava lamp is currently on. Kia Stinger, JB. Kia Forte, man. Kia Forte is where it's at. Classic. Got to stay true to your roots. I'm out here grinding till the party. Luke, good deal, man. Me too. Let's all grind. Like uh, uh, pretty Rick, pretty Ricky, is that what it was? Grind on me, baby. Grind on me, 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 me. Add the squeeze. Can you do a week of streams that are just close ups of the lava lamp while we all do rich people things? Yes, Brett. That actually sounds like something that I would be interested in. I'll just move the camera like right over here, and we can watch it go big time. We can watch it go big time. At least put a tassel on that cap so it's a little tiny fence. That I actually probably could do with one of these bad boys right here. What do you like? They like white, maybe? <laughs> How's that work for you? Rocket! What's up, Clay Bro? Last night's video was one of your best, in my opinion. Rocket! Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. And it is funny how some people... I do get that compliment, not often actually, but I do get that compliment every once in a while, and it seems to be different for everybody. Some people like some like some videos, some people like other videos. I don't know. I guess it's just whatever speaks to you at the time. But thank you very much, Rocket. I appreciate that. Perfect. Nice, Brett. Nice. Guess who's back in the AMC Gorilla Gang house, Mr. Salvatore Piazza. What's going on, Salvatore Piazza? How you doing? Poor, poor lamp. No, Benjamin. It is not a poor, poor lamp. I'm ready to swim in the hedge tier, edgy tears from the ape squeeze. I'm cool. Sounds like a salty pool, man. You float a little bit better. What up, Clay, bro? How do you feel about 55 calls for this Friday? <coughs> Buying those calls or selling those calls, fit bro? 55, slightly dangerous, man. 55, if you ex if you expect to expire in the money. However, I do believe we can bounce off the area we're at right now and move higher. So if you ex if you want to sell them early, sure, man. I think you can make money on those. But if you expect them to expire in the money, uh, let's see. Not going to be as easy as a lot of people would hope because we've still got all this resistance in here in this area with all of these where all these wicks come down. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So it's going to be tough. This is your $55 line right here if you want to expire in the money. And you got to go through all the resistance on the bottom end of these wicks. And so, hey, man, I don't know what, what they cost right now, but if not impossible, I would say 55 is a lot better than like a 60 or something. But it's right at the low, like right out of reach if we don't make the, if we don't break the resistance. So... If you get a if you get a decent price on those and you want them to expire in the money, it's just right. Oh no, darn it! Where did that come from? It's just right out of reach. So that would be my thought on that. But we could definitely we could definitely see it happen. Where in the world? All right, here we are. 
go back to a one minute chart yes thank you very much i appreciate that now we are back all right it's about to be a rich rich lamp yes it is bom dia todos bom dia para você também maestro oh that orange colored cylinder with a white tip yes it's a very fancy lava lamp isn't it oh no clay right okay i saw that one in your opinion, Clay, okay, this is my opinion, guys, nobody else's, should I put all my saved money into a stock, or would that be dumb? I have mixed feelings about it. <coughs> Olivia, you mean one stock, or what? I don't think, listen, if you're going to practice, like, safe advice, yes, I think you should have a liquid emergency fund, and so on, but just saving your money in a bank, or a non-existent savings account, where you make, like, 0% interest every year, not necessarily the best idea. So as long as you diversify, as long as you play things safe, then I think you're going to be okay. But, you know, still keep some money on hand so that you can pay for emergencies. You don't have to worry about selling stocks or selling your ETFs and bonds and so on in order to cover expenses. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a problem with investing if you, if you practice safe investing. But... If you're going to put it all in one stock, if you're going to just YOLO your life on AMC or another stock for that matter, slightly more risky, slightly more risky, much so more risky, and I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that. But there's a lot of people who did that back when AMC was trading at five, eight, ten dollars a share, and they're doing extremely well right now. Did it dip below 50 today? Yes, for a minute it did dip below 50 today. What do we get down to? We were at 49.69 over here. Low of the day, 49.67 was the low of the day. What about a 950 dollars call on GME January 2023? I've got a bunch. Yeah, dude, 950 I really don't know if, if any of those... I, I can't determine how high the price can go. But at least you gave yourself plenty of time for the squeeze to happen. Because GameStop's not going to hit 950 without a short squeeze. So at least you gave yourself plenty of time for that to take place. And and you're going to be able to profit off those, man, when, when GameStop goes up. How different a price is AMC from GME during the short squeeze? Hey man, it all depends on what people are willing to sell at. With people currently willing to sell AMC at fifty dollars and GameStop at two hundred dollars, there's a four X difference there. After the squeeze, you should buy half a cannon to stick out of your pirate wall. Now that sounds like something I'm interested in. You could actually go right in here where this little table's at, dude. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? Just grab like the front end of a cannon right here, boom, like a little cannonball. Yeah. All right, Brett, I'm in on that, dude. I'm in on that. That would be. Shoot, I could technically, I don't know, that's not very functional with the table there. I might need to move the table just out a little bit, but I don't want to cover the cannon up. Maybe I can make it like a, I don't know, maybe get like a flat top on the cannon or something and still be able to put the lava lamp and maybe a coffee cup there or something. So I want to keep some functionality, but whatever. What's your price action for today? Up, Nufo, always up. Thank you, Olivia, Absolutely. Uh, so investing a sa so investing a savings account is like premarital sex, not necessarily recommended, but if you do, be safe about it. Exactly, man. If you're going to take your money out of your savings account and invest it, I would just say be safe about it. Exactly. Good advice, that rocket. Don't necessarily recommend it, but if you gotta do it, what you get? Like if you gotta, if you gotta take care of those impulses somehow, I say be safe about it. When there are boom boom candles, you could fire blanks now. Dude, you just, <laughs> could you imagine if I did have like a replica cannon in here and then I had like a drawstring or something and every time we got a candle, boom, I pulled that bad boy and like it shook the house, they were just blowing boom boom candles out of there and blowing blanks out of there. <laughs> that would be sweet, man. I don't think I would ever sit in any other chair in this entire house. It'd just be my cannon chair, dude. And you can't reach the drawing string from that side. You gotta sit here and just boom. You need an eye patch. I could get an eye patch probably before I could get the actual cannon, but yes, I think we gotta just go full on with this one. Just wear earmuffs. I think it, yeah, dude, I'm gonna need to. Alicia! Live AMC QA. So, Frank, you are not the only one. Live AMC QA and anal. Epic notification. Thank you very much, Alicia. It got you to click on it, didn't it? You are here, and I know you're not even here for the Q&A. 
So uh, I promise I won't disappoint. We will do the analysis as well. <laughs> you guys are crazy. So apparently Frank is not the only one. Frank, do you and uh, Alicia have the same phone? Now I need to know. What kind of phone do you guys have? What a fun way to get structural damage to your home. That is probably one of the best ways to get structural damage to your home. Like, dude, you can have natural disasters come in, but, like, I've got a makeshift cannon right here. Boom! Pull it! Boom! Every time that we get a boom, boom, and it would be more often than I would probably like to have happen, but I'll just, I don't know, I'll brace up that wall right there, put some 2x6s instead of the 2x4s over there, brace it up, man, and, and get it get it ready to go. It'll be good. Don't worry. Good! I just wanted to say I appreciate you and the Clay Bros in your stream. Entertaining and educational. Thank you. DD214, man. Thank you. Hello, handsome. Hello, Natasha. How are you? I have an iPhone. Very good to know. Do you want to be friends? Natasha, I absolutely want to be friends. Q&A. Oh, was it good for you? That is the question on everybody's minds. And no, it wasn't good. It was great, Brett. It was great. S21 Ultra. Frank, I need the S21 Ultra, man. I need it. Send me your phone. John, I'm 25 years old. If you think I have 500000 you are very, 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 very far off, man. I just, I have just enough money to get extra guac at Chipotle, and that's it. Dude, you probably should just buy an avocado and make your own guac at home. I don't even know how much guac at Chipotle costs because I just make my own guac. So, his team I changed his name now. El Investidor and Mascarado. At least on Twitter he did. I didn't see his if he was streaming on YouTube or on YouTube today, but I did see that on Twitter. John, my dude. John, my B dude. I thought it said Cup Bro, not Clay Bro. My bad. Where is John at? John, what do we got, man? I didn't see what you were saying there. Cup Bro, extra guac. You must be doing well. That's what I'm saying, man. Extra guac. He's doing extremely well. Better than me, man. He's doing better than me because I just make my own guac. Clay Daddy, T or A is my Q. <laughs> what now? What? T or A is my Q? Well, shoot. I like all the letters of the alphabet. So uh, let's do it. I will take you for lunch. You're going to take me out for lunch, Natasha, or you're going to take me for lunch? Because we may be missing a word in there, and it could change the entire meaning of the sentence. Not going to deny that uh, I will be down for either one of those. Clay, you're not my mom. Get out of here with that we have food at home nonsense, but you're right, though. Honestly, I should make it. No, dude, you want to you wanna know some decent guac? Very easy to make, very quick. Chop up a little tomatoes, chop up a little onions, and then clearly chop up the avocado, right? But mash the avocado before you put the other stuff in it. Once it's mashed, dash, dude, dash. I don't measure anything out. Dash of olive oil, okay? Cut half a lime. Half a lime, mix that up, get the Himalayan pink salt. Three cracks of Himalayan salt. Mix that up there, and if you have garlic on hand, Chop up a clove of garlic. If you don't have garlic, just use garlic salt. You probably have garlic salt in your in your pantry. So use that. Sprinkle in the tomatoes and onions. Stir up. Boom. Done. Delicious. Go for it. No, no, no. Take him. I want to watch. Take you out. No, no, no. Take him. I make the best guac. Natasha, let's hear your guac. I need your guac recipe right now because I enjoy my guac. I think it's good guac. And if you got any suggestions that would make it better, please. Need jalapenos. I rarely have jalapenos, though. So I, I would put some jalapenos in there, but I rarely have jalapenos. So I would do that, but I don't have any. Where's the cilantro? Ah, dude, I don't use cilantro. Sometimes cilantro tastes like soap. So not the biggest fan of cilantro. I have garlic powder. Good deal, Neil Wolf. Use that if you don't have any garlic. Thank you, Frank. I'll take that into consideration. Frank. Olivia, not financial advice, but Q I L D O S U S O I S L V O and G L D O would be a good saving spread for dividends. There you go, Frank. I like it, man. I refuse to go to OnlyFans, Mr. Anything Tech. Well, come to my YouTube channel instead. John, saw the size of Clever's portfolio is not important. What's in it? What's it's the quality of his information that matters. I don't even see John in the chat, man. I honestly don't even see John in the chat. Golly ball, man. I'm sorry, John. I haven't even seen you anywhere, dude, but we all know it's not about the size of the portfolio. I mean, uh, okay, never. it's not about the size of the portfolio. It's how you invest it that matters. Right, girl? I mean, right, everybody? 
Come on, now I'll become a bro. Eyes closed, high pitched voice. What? Become a bro? Join the channel, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Like that one? Thoughts on ATR bouncing this week. Hey man, if you're in it making money, good deal. TBG soap is great. Reminds me of getting punished as a kid. Well, there you go, man. Brings you back to your childhood. I like it. I refuse to go to OnlyFans too. I'm a webcams chat hot boys and girls, man. Nice, Brett. Stay true to your roots. I like it. And your friends in here from the hot boys and girls webcam chat. We gotta make sure that we do them right. We we treat we treat them right. We treat them right. John wants to know if you had over or under 500,000 in stocks, but yeah, big chart, little chart, it's how you do your TA that matters. All green candles are good, not just the boom booms. All candles are good, guys. Even red candles give you a little bit of a breather, and they say, all right, guys, time to just settle down. We can go for round two in a minute. We can take a break, and then we can rip again. So, all candles are good. It's all right. I'm thinking about making an OnlyFans. Neil Wolf, very interesting. What would your content be? Hello, Clay. Good morning. What's up, everybody? Oh, what's up? 11 on Simon. How you doing? Got 50 colors on. Oil Tip is here. I knew. I didn't even read the name. I saw it was blue, and I, re I read that he got $50 calls. So, uh, I knew it was Oil Tip when he said that. Oil Tip, already up on those calls. I love it, man. Are we back above? What are we at right now? 50, 33? Yeah, 5037. Doing good. I like it, Oil Tip. Making money already. Good morning, everybody. Aria, how are you? Hey, Clay. I'd love to make thumbnails for your videos. Would you like to see some of my work? Uh, yeah, dude. And you know what else you can make, too? Make some custom emojis for the chat if you want to. Send me some custom emojis so we can get some more emojis in here for green names. I would really like that. However, all I've been doing for my thumbnails recently is just taking a picture while, like, or letting YouTube apparently decide. Because when YouTube decides what thumbnail you use, sometimes they're like, and they get you with that one, and it's like, dude, that's, why would you do that? I really feel like YouTube just plays you at certain points when they suggest those thumbnails. Like, how does that represent my video in any way? I don't, I swear I don't even do that during the thing. It just makes that picture of me. It's really weird. Was that a sales pitch for manicure? Could have been. But I don't know if it was. Gosh, man. Somebody needs a manicure? Maybe. Do I? Wow, Warren Buffett is here. Warren Buffett hangs out in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't feel intimidated or anything. He just hangs out. He's one of my boys. Sorry, he's a bro. Yes, green, but I need to make up for my spy calls that failed this morning. Ah! It's all right, dude. You win some, you lose some. Guess what? End of the week, as long as you're positive, you're doing great. Make a peach, but cut it in half with the pit showing. Make a peach. Oh, a, a peach emoji. That's what they're talking about. I was like, what are we talking about now? Peach with the emoji with a pit cut in half. That's that's an interesting one. There you go. S what's the guy's name? Sued. Sued. A peach cut in half with a pit showing. There you go. Dean. <whistles> Dean, dude. Uh, oh, man. You must have been reading my mind. I'm going to be honest. Dean, I was like, I was like two steps from cutting your mod status uh, either today or yesterday. And I didn't do it because I saw you post something on Twitter. But I'm like, Dean has not been hanging out with us in, I think, over a month. So I was like, well, here goes the blue name. And then I forgot to do it. And look who's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Elon was in here once. We got rid of that nerd. And now Warren is chilling with us trying to learn from the squad. Yes, that is exactly right. Elon Musk was in here at one point. But now we hang with Warren Buffett. CPI shows positive numbers. But people sold the news. <laughs> Round five. Let's. Natasha. You need a green name, Natasha. I feel like you're one of us. Round five. Yes, I feel like you're one of us, Natasha. And uh, you need a green name. We need a lava lamp emoji. Sued! Get on this stuff, man. Take notes. We need a lava lamp emoji. We need a peach split in half with the pit showing. Hey, Brett. Jennifer! Hello, Jennifer. 
I did not see you in Matt's stream this morning, even though I was there for about 20 minutes. He was really just listening to Gary Gensler and stuff, so I wasn't paying attention to the chat too much, kind of just listening. Speaking of people who have been MIA for a while, I hope Elizabeth is going well. Yes, I hope Elizabeth is also doing well. Elizabeth, are you in here, but are you not talking? We need to know if you're in here. Cupro's concerned. Sam needs to know you're all right. Yep, it sucked. Well, you are here now, Jennifer, and I am glad you are with us. Where's Cookie? Where is Cookie? Cookie, come back. I need you in my life. Cookie, come back. Where? I, I have no, I haven't seen Cookie. I did see Cookie post on Twitter like two days ago, but I haven't seen Cookie in a while. Why not show a little more of the chart? You ain't that good looking, bro. Hey, we can, man. We can. We can, uh, we can show like that. We can do like that, and then like, we can do, uh... Like a half face, if you wanted to. If you want to do that. Or we could just... Oh, man, darn it. Wrong one. Or we could go... I don't even remember where it was now. We could go there, and then we could go big chart. Big chart, little clay. Do we swap? Big chart, little clay. Big clay, little chart. It's all right. Last night was rough for her. Was it really? Cookie is taking a hiatus. Good deal. Don't know why... Why was last night rough, man? She all right? Uh, cookie got in trouble with Twitter. Why? Let, dude, first of all, listen. This is not Twitter. Cookie can hang out here whenever she wants. So, I don't even know what would have happened. But Cookie is more than welcome to hang out here all day long, any day of the week. Everybody knows that we like Cookie. Everybody. Uh, good morning, Sir Clay. Good morning, Nikki89. She got caught up. Well, dude, listen, man. Here's, here's the deal. It's the internet, all right? People on the internet don't always say exactly what they should be saying. It's true. We know this. But at the end of the day, man, we're all people. It's okay. We do like Cookie. Whether Cookie is not from Texas, whether she's from Texas, whether she doesn't even like cookies. I don't even know if she likes cookies or not. I like cookies. It's true. I don't eat cookies every day, but I do like cookies. I like chocolate chip cookies. I like, I don't know, raisin cookies. I like peanut butter oatmeal cookies. I like macadamia nut cookies. I like just oatmeal cookies. I like Oreos. I'm just trying to think of a cookie that I actually don't like right now, and I can't think of one. Anybody got a cookie that I might not like? I like all types of cookies, guys. I really do. And she is she's more than welcome to hang out here all the time. Internet is full of facts and truth. Believe everything you read. Leah Cardo, yes. Yes, that is, that is right. Uh, berries. I like berries as well. It is true. Oil tipped. I'm going to need to know the whole deal of the situation, not just the tip. Who doesn't lie online, man? What <laughs> part of the fun of being online? Like, is that guy's name really even cut, bro? Nobody knows. It probably isn't. Pineapple cookies. I would eat a pineapple cookie. Yes. Ain't not, well, ain't not no one don't like oatmeal cookies. That's what I'm saying, Xavier. Especially those little oatmeal cookies. You know what I'm saying? Those little oatmeal cookies with the frosting on it. It was like old school cookies that come in a little pack. That your grandma always had. Like, dude, those oatmeal cookies are bomb, too. And you know they are. Even though they're store-bought and ready to go. Like, they're good. Everybody likes them. Cookies, I had peanut butter once for breakfast. Well, there you go, Cassie. Everybody likes cookie. Licorice cookies do not exist, Crypto Rocketeer. But if they did, I'd have to try one. I never had a licorice cookie. If it does exist, I just, I don't know. But you guys over there in Europe might have some weird stuff. Confession, before I get myself in hot water, I am not actually a cup. This is true. This is, this might be true, actually. Cup Bro might not actually be a cup. But we really need to know now, Cup Bro, is your favorite pattern on the chart a cup and handle? Or do you prefer things like bull flags or, or candlestick patterns in general or, or George W's or head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders, wedges, wicked wedges? What do you prefer, man? What do you prefer? Is it a cup? Is it a cup and handle? Speaking of cookies, shout out to that dude's wife who makes bomb looking cookies. Yes! Loving oven cookies or oven loving cookies or whatever. Dude, I, I can't believe you remember that. Uh, but yeah, what? Oh, yeah, but you don't lie about going to fallen soldiers and 9 11 heroes funerals? <coughs> no, I did not do that, but I have also 
never I actually didn't know anybody who like died on September 11th so I wouldn't have gone to any of those funerals I don't know anybody that was in even New York at the time so if that is true I did not know anybody who did that but shoot man I also did not uh, did not go to any funerals or anything of the matter I let it slide that clout chasing and the lies all about Harleys I don't know about Harleys but shoot man I know people who own a Harley uh, to be honest, I kind of hate the cup and handle. I mean, I get it. There's a little cup. It's a little cute. I get it. It's a cute little image. You can see, like, looking at the stars. But maybe the name, because it's so overhyped and people see it everywhere. It is true, man. It is true. Like, looking at the stars and just joining them all like a little dipper. We should call it the little dipper instead of a cup and handle. My catchphrase I like using as VWAP is Cardi B WAP. My catchphrase I like using is VWAP, is Cardi BWAP. Okay, well, there you go, man. We can use Cardi BWAP instead of VWAP. Not you, sir. Cookie. No, no, no. I know. I just, uh, I don't know why, why people would do that. But either way, man, either way, like, I, I get it, man. People say something, they're going to regret saying it later. Okay. We're not going to hate on somebody for any. The only thing I'm just, like, not going to let people slide with is, like, if you're going to tell me that AMC is squeezing this week, and then it doesn't squeeze. That's just the only thing I don't want to hear. Is that AMC is squeezing this week because you know your wall spoke to you. You were you drank the lava lamp juice and you were just tripping. And all of a sudden the lava started talking to you and AMC is squeezing this week. That's the only thing. Like Just, just stop with that nonsense. That's, we don't need any of that. Other stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like don't, don't be, I don't know, saying stories or whatever. But either way, man, we're we're all good. We're all friends. We're all hanging out. How long do we got a bit let it lie? How, how long we gotta let it die down before I make some cookie crumble puns? Too soon? It's never too dude. It's never too soon for a pun, man. Nah, she was in the space trying to defend herself and was tripping all over her words. It was actually pretty sad. Like review door came up and put her in her place. <coughs> dude, where do you guys hang out in these spaces at? Can I hang out in your spaces too? Because I feel like nobody knows me on Twitter. And I don't even know if Review Dork knows me, man. Because I was begging for him to roast me the other day. <laughs> and nobody he, nobody was even asking him to roast Jackson Hunter. Okay, I feel like everybody could easily roast me. I feel like I'm roastable, man. Like, you can take me out to the grill and just roast all day long. But then he, re he roasts Jackson Hunter and says that he looks like a, like a sick version of... <laughs> The transporter, or Jason Statham, or something like that, in one more Uber ride, and he's gonna be in the transporter three or something. <laughs> I don't even know what he. It was funny, but he should have been roasting me. AMC is down today. Nick Ishan, yes, AMC is down today. This one YouTuber that doesn't work at Citadel said AMC is squeezing this week, so it must be true. Darn it, man. It must be true. I just wish it was me that said it. It's hilarious. It, it really was fun. It really was funny. But I was like begging to be roasted. I even sent like a meme on Twitter, man. I like I don't ever even send memes on Twitter. And I sent a meme on Twitter that was like I volunteers tribute or whatever from the Hunger Games since we were like. The other day, so I had Hunger Games on my mind. Volunteered his tribute, but he still wouldn't do it. So if you guys can get Review Dork to roast me on Twitter, go for it. Because it was actually pretty funny that he said he looks like... I don't. I forget how he said it. You guys should go check out his Twitter, man. It's a sick version of Jason Statham and one more Uber ride, and he's going to turn into the Transporter 3 or something. I thought it was hilarious. Taking the L on BBIG and SPRT. Warren Buffett, it's all right, man. You got to cut your losses, and you got to move on. Jackson Hunter was there last night. Transparency Project the Review Dork were there, too, among like 300 other people. I'll try to tag you next time. It's 11 p.m. Dude, oh, okay. I'm going to tell you right now. 11 p.m. Pacific time, I will never be awake for that. Like, dude, if it's not it, if it's not before 7 p.m. Pacific time, catch me outside, dude. How about that? Because I'm going to be in bed. Another one. First whistle now. You volunteering his tribute. And you told me you hope the odds are in my favor. Bro, you're all about the catness. I am, man. Channel my inner catness, dude. Better believe it. Shoot. If that movie didn't inspire you, I don't know what would. Anybody have younger siblings in here and that movie actually did inspire you? Because it inspired me, man. I have younger siblings and I'd be like, shoot, man, I volunteer as tribute. 
Alvin, green day today, Clay, bro. Let's actually see what it looks like. I don't even know what the what we're looking at for a green day today. 51.69 for a green day. Let's see where 51.69 is. 50, ooh, not going to be easy. 51.69. 51.69. Uh, let's see for a green day today, man. Possible. Possible on a green day. But we're going to have to turn around here and finish strong after lunch because we got a decent level of resistance around 5080 that we would have to get through and make it up here. So it would definitely be an intraday high if we do break green. But I don't know, man. I would just err on the side of caution and say we're probably going to close red today. But use this $50 area, just stay above 50 to be nice. I would still err on the side of caution and say we'll probably close red. But this is the this is the mark right here. We got this little level of resistance that we'd have to break through. But keep in mind, man, these are only five-minute charts. So a half hour, we could be retesting this and break right through it and then move on from there. So it's not impossible. But I don't know. If we don't get a if, if we don't get a strong push post launch. I would say we're more or less going to close red today. Oil tipped. What did she do? Still don't understand. I don't really understand either, but apparently she said she did something that she didn't do. Like, call it down. I played two games of Call of Duty, ran into cheaters, and called it a night. The cheaters, man. How do you even cheat in video games? I don't even know how to do that. Hey, Clay, bro. Has the options from last Friday already been hedged for? If not, will we see a gamma squeeze this week? Music Boy, 99.99. I don't know if they've all been hedged for. I would say the vast majority of them have been hedged for. But here's the deal. In order to get a gamma squeeze, you need a lot of buying power coming from the options. And I believe it was only around 100,000 contracts that expired in the money last week. So even assuming that every single one of them was un unhedged for and they were unaccounted for, then that gives you roughly 10 million shares that needed to have been bought. So what are we looking at for volume already today? The volume already today, 27 million. I mean, they could have already been bought up. And even then, if they weren't yet, uh, 10 million shares is not going to be like an insane amount that's going to drive the price radically higher. I think the 10 million shares, if they haven't accounted for any of them, could drive us back into the green today, sure. But uh, other than that, I wouldn't be terribly concerned about a, a gamma squeeze. Uh, what do most people think about the price AMC can go up to? Please start commenting. Yeah, if you guys want to throw your price predictions out there, absolutely. Just You guys know my stance on it. It's all about how long people can resist, resist that temptation. And I don't think that... High numbers like a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, a million dollars per share. I don't think that's like easy. I really don't, guys. I really don't think it's gonna be easy. You know, it, it all comes down to are everybody going to resist or is everybody gonna resist the temptation? If they do, boom, man, we get it. If they can't, then uh, no, we fall short. I think I, I say things I don't do all the time. For instance, I totally get girls in real life. Ladies love me, and I have lots of friends and don't spend my nights with my three cats. Me too, cup bro. Me too. And I totally, I totally drive a brand new Corvette that I just call a Kia Forte. And I totally didn't have a problem finding parts for it yesterday. And I totally just have Nickelback in my basement and work out with them every night. All of those things are true. Although, and I totally live on a ship. And this is actual ship lap on a ship right now. You guys just don't see me swaying back and forth because I got a gyro seat. Hey, could you give us a quick run through of the icons tool you use on Weeble to help your analysis? Ross, yeah, man. If you want, I don't use I don't use a terrible amount of look, man. I'll just be honest. I don't use a terrible amount of MACD because I'm not a day trader in the sense that I'm buying and selling shares in the same in the same day. So I don't use a ton of RSI, MACD. We can go through some of those if you want to ask questions about those and you want to learn a little bit more about them. But I'm not buying into a position and selling a position all in the same day. I would rather hold my positions longer and, and, and experience larger gains than some quick 5% five, 5 gainers that I could hopefully get in a day or a week swing, swing trading. And it's just a lot less risky, man. When you sit there, you buy something that's 
a decent stock and almost not guaranteed to go up, but has a high likelihood of going up, you run into a lot less stress. And, dude, I don't like stress. I don't like stress at all. The less stress I have in my life, the better. And Jay, man, he wants to chill on a beach right now. We're chilling on a beach right now. This is me, like, suntanning. I don't actually do this, but those sun suntan things, this is me chilling on a beach right now. <sighs> Thank you very much, J-Man. Ooh, yeah. You guys hear the ocean? Those are some crazy waves. Thank you very much, J-Man. I appreciate the super sticker. SEC can release their report on GME soon. Dean, let's get it, man. If they release it and I don't know about it, please let us know what's going on in here. SPRT bounce merger today. Buying more 30, 30, what? 30 calls for SPRT or 30 cents? 30 cents don't make sense. Clint, you're going to stream this afternoon. Dean, three, man. Dean, I absolutely will. Three to five. <clears throat> 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Whatever that time is for you. I don't know if you're on Pacific or Mountain. But I, I think you're on Pacific Time in Vegas, right? I lived through a hurricane last night. Doc! Dangerous, man. Dangerous. You okay? Everybody okay down there? Do you know what's happening with Evergrande? No, I do not. Does anybody know? What I don't understand is if there are so many synthetic shares, how are they going to cover it, and how is that going to affect the AMC prices? Warrell. So, here's the deal. Okay, we can answer that, but I need you to know that I don't believe there are 500 billion or 5 billion uh, synthetic shares out there and so on. I don't believe in the same numbers that a lot of people believe in. Now, if you do, okay, and if you're one of those out there that say, yeah, man, there probably are a billion shares of AMC outstanding or 5 billion shares of AMC outstanding, here's the deal. They have to cover those just the same way. But the, the part that confuses me about what everybody believes is that you kind of have to believe that there's some sort of synthetic share factory where they're not getting reported as being failed to deliver, which that's the definition of a synthetic share. It's it's naked because it, it hits with a fail to deliver. So if you, for some reason, can justify how a synthetic share exists without being hit by a fail to deliver and still, for some reason, gets marked and will be uh, rectified and delivered, then you have to just, I mean, it's the same way as any other short share would be. They're obligated to cover it and so on. But that's that's like a, a funky definition of a, of a synthetic or a naked share because synthetics and nakeds are typically derived from fail to delivers, which are rectified within like, like four days. And certain exceptions due to market makers allow them a little bit more time, but their market has failed to deliver. So they're still, they still need to be delivered just like a uh, actual short share of AMC would need to be delivered. Good morning. All the short stocks crash in ATER, SPR, TVIG. Oh, no. Claude. <coughs> Claude, you still in them or what, man? Good time to buy SPRT and ATER. Look, Claude's mad that they're all falling, and Mol Molotov's like, uh, let's just buy SPT, SP, or support.com and ATER. Hey, perspective, man. Some people are happy that it's time to get in. Some people are unhappy that it's time to get in. I'm going to listen to Aisha by Chris Cross. Do it, Doc. Do it. I will hold out and resist. I hope others do. What worries me is that those that plan to sell a portion to get their original investment back then ride the rest off, surely that will hurt the squeeze. Nikki 89 it depends. It only hurts the squeeze if they sell them back to the hedge funds. So I don't know when they plan on on playing with the house's money and recouping their initial investment. There's a chance if they wait long enough, they only got to sell one or two or three shares to recoup their investment, right? So that's a, a good way to look at it, that it may not affect the squeeze negatively if they wait that long to do so. But as long as the hedge funds aren't the ones buying up those shares that they're selling, then it, you know it's not it's not really going to be detrimental to the squeeze in that sense if they go out and sell a portion of their shares it just all comes down to who buys it and when they sell it have on good authority that you're in international waters with nickelback mining synthetic amc shares and you give low price targets to fool us cup bro you spend way too much time on reddit dude and uh, reddit spends way too much time knowing what i'm actually doing so yes i mine synthetic shares of amc just like i mine cryptocurrency and the fact that I'm mining these sh synthetic shares of AMC and selling them to you guys and laughing with Nickelback about it is is really impressive that they figured that out. Reddit DD has come a long way just in the last several months. So 
I appreciate them for, for finding that out and exposing me, but now you guys know my secret. So, dude, imagine if you could mine synthetic shares of AMC like you mine crypto. That would be sweet. Or if you just mine real shares of AMC. That would be sweet, too. I don't even have a Reddit. Thank you very much. Well, shoot, man. You're on your game, then, because you know what's happening. Aisha, yes, 2000 is possible. Whoa! Uh, I just slowed down a bunch after I said that. Cognitive. Clay, chat too fast. Now, sad face. Cognitive. Very interesting, man. Chat wasn't that fast. Wouldn't I ever use trading cause a massive amount of shares since computers can't tell the difference in the amount of shares out in the market? Lex, no, because they're just they're still buying and selling shares that they have. They're still buying and selling shares that they have, so it's not necessarily that it, like they would be creating new shares by doing that. They're just buying and selling the same share over and over and over again. Wow, what's up, Alvin? Me? Yes, you, Doc. Maybe. I don't know. You, I think. Yo, Clay, just got home from work and seen today's chart. What's going on? Please rejuvenate my enthusiasm. I will rejuvenate every single part of you, Alan. Just a little dip, dude. Just a little dip. We tested $52 yesterday, 52 and change. Turned out to be a level of resistance. We bounced off of it. Now we're using this area down around $50 per share. Slightly lower. 49 something right now. But this area right around $50 per share. I don't know why that moved. Right around $50 per share as support. So we bounce off here. We can go higher. We break through it, man. We break through it. We break through this 49.50 area. We may be retesting 48.50 and $48 per share. So keep that in mind. Sorry I did not make Weeble big. But... Yeah, we're right in here in this $50 area, and it seems like we're going to be using that as support today. So at least you can know and take faith in the fact that we do have support at $50, and it seems to be holding up right now. So that's good news. Be rejuvenated, my friend. Be rejuvenated. Just order new underpants. Cognitive. Very nice, man. Boxer briefs, or what'd you go with? I have a miner for synthetic AMC shares. Clay, bro, it's called Robin Hood. Uh, Alvin. Yeah, dude. Uh, I guess that's a decent way to look at it. If you think that, if you think the brokers are selling you synthetic shares, just think of them like miners for for synthetic shares of AMC. Then it's all good. It's all good. You've heard of cryptocurrency mining. Now we're mining shares of AMC. Who knows if they're real or not? But hey, we're still doing it. No, Clay. Yesterday green day. Clay today red day. What gives? Higher prices is something I'm interested in. So let's get started, dude. Higher prices are definitely something that I'm interested in, but. Unfortunately, and we would have higher prices if all of us, the 600 of us in here, were the only ones holding AMC. I believe we would see nothing but higher prices because none of us would actually be selling. It is, it's, it's a lie if you believe all 80% or 70%. I don't think there's 80% retail owners anymore because institutions own 30% of the company. So that leaves 70% for us. So if you believe that all 70% of the retail investors are apes and they're holding for a short squeeze... It's not true, man. There's so many people out there that don't even know what a short squeeze is that hold AMC stock in their portfolios that we need to continue exactly what we're doing right now. If they actually understood that AMC just isn't some play where we watch it rise for a couple weeks and then get out at resistance or rise and hit resistance and bounce back down and form a very nice cup. Cup, bro, this one's for you. Form a very nice cup and so on, and then break through resistance and run. If they understood that this was a short squeeze play where the hedge funds have to buy it back and there's a community surrounding AMC, it would be a game changer. Now look, there's there's this dude on TikTok. I don't know if his name's like Trader Raider or Raider Trader or something, and I swear he's only like 17 years old, but he's still, he likes the stock market, he talks about the stock market, and he really likes volume-weighted average price and things like that. So I don't understand where all these kids go to go to stock market school and learn about cup and handles and VWAP all day long, but they do. But either way, he talks about AMC like it's not a short squeeze play. All these other guys out there that are day traders talk about AMC like it's just a momentum retail runoff and it's not a short squeeze. If they change their mentality and they change their perspective on it, it would be a different game. It really would. Serious question. If Robinhood doesn't actually give you shares right away, would using them for AMC and the squeeze hurt their business and make them lose money? I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you mean if they don't give you shares right away? Because nobody technically gives you those shares right away. That's why you have the two-day settlement period. 
So you might need to rephrase that question so I can understand it a little bit better. But <clears throat> 80 plus 30 is over 100. Naked shorting and exposed. Yes. Naked shorting and exposed because, remember, no retail investor is ever selling their shares. It must be Sagittarius. Who? Me? Dude, my birthday is May 26th, man. What does that make me? Gemini, my friend. But I don't know anything about anything about the horoscopes or or signs or whatever these things are. Stop it in to show some love, Clay, bro. What it do? The dude, man. What it do, dude? How you doing? I think it's from Matt and Trey. Trey used to talk about VWAP a lot, and Matt's been talking about cup and handles a lot lately. Yeah, it could be, but I just wonder, like, if these kids on different platforms are watching them, too. I know that, I know Trey used to talk the crap out of, out of VWAP at the, at the beginning there, but I really don't know, man. I really don't know if there's, like, some YouTube trader school that everybody went to and learned about the exact same things or what the deal is, but they're on it. Yo, Clay, bro, I miss you, bro. Miss you, too, now, now, y'all. Miss all my fellow apes. been busy at work. Just open ass girl. But still. Now, now, y'all, good deal, man. Glad to have you in here. And, dude, don't forget to just swing by. Click the like button. If you can't stay for the stream, you have no idea. You guys really do not know how much it helps just to swing by. If you're not going to sit in the stream, if you're not going to watch, swing by, click the like button. Send a, a chat if you want to say hi. But, my gosh, dude, it's like the same deal is just, I don't know, calling up somebody's boss and saying, hey, Cupro does an excellent job at work. You need to give uh, Brett Texas and Rocket a, a raise. It's the same thing, man. It really does help because YouTube sees that. They're like, all right, people understand. And then they go on, and it takes one minute. You guys don't even have to type or say anything in the chat. Okay, so I heard online, so it's definitely true, <coughs> that they were shady and gave you like an IOU, and you don't actually have shares on Robinhood, and also heard that they do like the end of the day a net buy-sell kind of thing. <coughs> No, dude, I don't think, so if you're actually buying shares of AMC on Robinhood, it's not going to be the same thing as, so what you're talking about would be more similar to what you get in crypto on places like Robinhood or Weeble or these other exchanges, where they don't allow you to transfer it out, and they've only got something similar to what a, an ADR, one of these depository receipts in another country would be. It's not the same with shares, though, because those shares are your shares at that point, and you can transfer them to whatever broker you want, and as long as they're settled in your account, you've got those, man. You're not getting voting rights on IOUs. You're not going to be able to transfer IOUs to another broker and so on. So Robinhood does own a certain amount of shares, and then Robinhood is, is able to sell those shares out to people who, are, who have Robinhood accounts. And so on. They remain the the shareholder on record with AMC, and then it's not like if you go out and buy so many shares, they just have IOUs IOUs for you. They in in turn go out and find those shares if they don't have enough on hand, and so on. Crypto, on the other hand, is different. Like if you're holding crypto in one of these brokers and you go to transfer it, they got to close it out because you're essentially just buying a a derivative at that point, and and you're moving on with that. You, the crypto is not yours to transfer to your wallet and so on. But the shares, yeah, I, I don't know who was talking about IOUs on shares, but you own the shares. You got them on Robinhood or Webull or any of these other accounts. What did I miss, bro? Now prediction is only 250 per share. E Turbo, what? Who's saying only 250, man? Look, 250 is still an excellent deal for AMC to jump to, right? There's no doubt that 250 would still be a very nice gain. But somebody's moving it to 250. People are actually dumb. Uh, if you're actually big, it's so low, low, low. JR, I, I don't even know what's going on, but are people really saying 250 now? Man, I'm so nervous. I mean, first and second grades were easy, but social studies, division, this is going to be tough. Cognitive resonance, man. I know. Five days of transfer to but a public one day. That's crazy, Pichu girl. Um,. It doesn't take, it's not going to take five days to get there. You might be able to get there in, in three. Uh, now, now, y'all! Thank you for the super sticker. Oh! Dun, 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 dun. Ha! Thank you very much, now, now, y'all. Ha, 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 ha. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you very much, now, now, y'all, for the, for the, for the fan man. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you very much, now, now, y'all. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you very much for the super sticker, now, now, y'all. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that super sticker now, now, y'all. Absolutely amazing, guys. 
I love it. Buy two cents. Wow, dude, what was buy two cents, man? Missed that. Man, the person said 10,000. It used to say like 100. So hearing him say that made me real <laughs> crazy. Crazy cup, bro. Ah, yeah, right. He's re hey, ready. Hey, ready, guys. AMC will go up to $23 per share. Gato. $23 per share. We're going negative $23 per share. That's kind of crazy. And now, now, y'all, thank you very much. Apparently, they like that one now, now, y'all. So everybody is saying thank you for that one. Don't know why they like it. What kind of duck is that on your shirt? What do you mean, what kind of duck is this on my shirt, dude? Who knows Who knows who's on my shirt right now? Who knows? You guys got to type it in the chat if you know who this is. It's not a duck, dude. It's not a duck. Who is that? Let us know. You need chopsticks for that one. I don't even know I have chopsticks here, man. Been watching your vids when I can, though. Appre appreciate, appropriate all your videos, bruh. Appropriate all your videos, bruh. Appreciate all your videos, bruh. All right, bruh. Appreciate you now, now, y'all. Click it. And, guys, it really does help. Videos come out at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you just watch, like, some of it, do a quick like, do a quick comment. Boom! I mean, it's, it's like game over, man. It makes a huge difference. Even if you don't want to watch the video or don't want to watch the whole thing, dude, if you go in there, click the like button, leave a quick comment, it's like, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it makes a huge difference. So I'll do it. Perry the Platypus. Perry, 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 Perry. Duckman. No, it's not Duckman. Clay Perry. Yes, yeah, Perry the Platypus. Perry the Platypus. Perry, 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 Platypus. It's Barry. It's Perry, man. Perry the Platypus. Yes, everybody knows who it is. I mean, he's got, maybe he has a duck bill, but Perry the Platypus, dude. Not no duck. Piper Perry. Duck billed platypus. Yes, Doc Airline. He might have a duck bill, but he's definitely a platypus. What? Never heard of Perry the Platypus before. There's 104 days of summer vacation, and school comes along just to end it. So the annual budget for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe building a rocket or climbing a tower. You guys know what it is. Phineas and Ferb, man. Come on now. Quick comment. Exactly, Joan de Jesus. Leave a quick comment. But on the videos, man, it also helps you leave a quick, leave a quick comment in here. Uh, so if investors on brokerages like Robinhood can't vote, then does Robinhood vote on investors' behalf? If so, this isn't a conflict of interest when they work for hedge funds. Yeah, Lex Luthor. So that is correct. If, if they don't vote and they don't get that proxy vote in, they will vote for you. But typically, they vote in the negative. Okay, At least that's what Adam Aaron was saying. Okay, Now, other brokers, if you don't vote, they basically just take the majority of votes or like that percentage. If they get, I don't know, 40% yeses and 60% noes, then the, the broker... We'll go ahead and vote the rest of those shares, 40% yeses and 60% noes as well. So that's how it works on some brokers. Other brokers, if they if nobody votes, they just put a no on there and, and move on with it, and they don't care. We got Pamcakes in here. Pam the Trader, are you in here? Perry isn't recognizable. He started doing a ton of dips, and now he's Larry the Latipus. Nice, man. Perry the Platypus turned into Larry the Latipus. Let's get it. Perry the Plat. Yes, it is. Negate not. Lex Luthor cares about fairness. Lex Luthor does care about fairness. Facts. Doofenshmirtz works at Citadel. <laughs> yes, Doofenshmirtz probably does work at Citadel. And he's got the Laserinator, which creates fake AMC shares. So that is what he's up to today. And now we know where all the synthetics come from. It's actually Larry. It's actually Larry. It's actually Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Fifty dollar calls. Oh, yeah, but are you still are you still up or, or are you back down on them? Dude, we're bouncing we're bouncing off fifty, man. It'll be all right. Discount time. Ouch. Fifty two will be fine. Yeah, man. I, I think I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna see forty eight again today. I think you're gonna see another bounce. If we get another bounce, you're going to be doing good, man. You're going to be doing good from this $50 area right in here. Bounce back up. Good entry on BBIG. Don't worry, AMC went down because I bought this morning. <laughs> Doc, we were we were worried. And Anybody else buy this morning that caused the price to go down like Doc? Rick and Morty worked for Fox News with Charles Payne. Very possibly DJ Quagmire. Leon's got that basketball bounce and dead, 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 dead. Denny Oliver. 
You know, we, we might need a rage buy from you today, man. Have you unmute, but you hit your forehead. Must have been good. Oh, Hector, man. It must have been good, dude. I don't even know why I hit my forehead anymore. Why you got me on mute, though? That's the question. Hey, Clay. Are you in any other place than AMC? Jonathan, yes. I do have a diverse portfolio. AMC does not make up 100% of my portfolio. Just wait. We'll get some boom booms when the hot boys and girls show up. Hot boys and girls. Hot boys and girls. Hot boys and girls. We've summoned them three times. So hot boys and girls will come now. So here's the deal. Hot boys and girls. If you're in here and you get a green name, I promise you, we will no longer delete your exclamations and your parentheses. Okay? Just get a green name. You put all the exclamations and parentheses in the chat that you want. Just don't spam. Okay? But get a green name. We're not even going to delete them anymore. You're going to be doing good. Hit the like button one time for Clay, bro. Thank you much, Al Capone. I appreciate that. Let me see this shirt. Lock guys, Chattanooga, man. There you go. Perry the Platypus, dude. What do you think about Perry? Hey, where's Perry? Low of the day is 4966. Don't you got to say it five times. Are they Candyman or Bloody Mary? I don't even know. But uh, hot, boys girls, hot boys and 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 girls. That was five times. We got to get it in the chat right now. Hot boys and girls. Let's see it. AMC makes up 99% of Clay's portfolio. It's not 100%, Lex. It's not 100. Good time to jump into ATER if you're home in your humble opinion. I don't know what it's at right now, Jonathan. Don't know what it's at. I know that people say like ATER, SPRT, and BBIG were falling today. So could be, dude, but I, I honestly I, I couldn't tell you. Bullish divergence over the last half hour should pop soon. Dude, I I hope it pops soon. What's what's uh what's diverging though? Because we're coming back down, but what's going up? What, where's your bullish divergence coming from? Uh, it's going up. I've got thirty-six fifty-dollar calls that say yes. Nice, Tamir. Nice. I think you need to so uh, I think you need to throw salt on a mirror or something like that. Don't have any salt, dude. Don't have any salt, so I can't throw it on a mirror. At the crypto hearing, they asked Gensler, "Are you someone, somebody's daddy?" There's no way, dude. Did they asked you're someone. They asked him that. I didn't see that. I have a Perry teddy bear. Nikki 89. Very nice. I have a Perry shirt. Clay, do you think AMC should partner with American Airlines to show exclusive films on airplanes? DJ Quagmire. That could be a, a decent strategy. Yes. Um. Never thought about that before, man. I don't know. I think that would be cool. If you say hi, boys and girls, they'll appear in the chat. If you Google hi, boys and girls, FBI will appear at your door. Man, hot boys and girls has the power, don't they? Golly, golly, my mother passed away, and I'm walking to the bank to deposit my inheritance of 93000 which will all either go into AMC or GME opinion. Tesla guy, yes, my opinion is, uh, I don't know, man. What, what would your mother want you to do with that money? She didn't give it to you to, to go out and buy one stock with it, but what would your mother want you to do with it, man? KR at Double Bottoms Port looking for a swing for next week. If you need an options lotto, they had good news today, but they were down, also beat earnings and dipped. Nice upside on a reversal. Nick, thank you very much for letting us know, man. Check that out, guys. KR, if you want to get into it. Son of John Kennedy from LA. Jennifer Moffitt. Dang, I think I'm going to miss something on that one. My airline is the best one. I just haven't started it yet. Well, there you go, Doc Airline, man. You got to get it started. Clay, want to know that I never want to know. Clay, want you to know that I never send you a super chat. You were my first. You speak that real ish. You deserve more. Love the crew. Like guys, Chattanooga, man. Thank you very much. And uh, shoot, man, I feel feel very. I don't know. It is cool, guys. It is cool that. I don't know if you trust me with sending you a super chat or, or whatever, but I do appreciate every single one of them, man. So thank you very much. You are a parenthesis. Don't call me names. Hector, never, man. Never. Just like, I'm going to be honest. I thought the message was going to be sad and then it was happy. And now I don't know if I should give you my condolences or congratulations. Yes, nobody knows. But uh, I think hopefully Tesla guy is okay, man. He asked GG if someone, oh, Gary Gensler, John Kennedy. Gotcha. Jennifer, gotcha. Now you answered. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Are you a parenthesis? Don't call me. You are a parenthesis. I am a parenthesis. Yeah, sure. I am. Soon bye. Stopped in to say hi. Texturing a bathroom. Trying to get ready for paint. Very nice, Joseph. I like it, man. Would. And thank you very much for stopping by to say hi. Don't forget to click the like button. And dude, I don't know if you're texturing the ceiling or what's going on with it, but. Hopefully, work is easy today. I would love to see personal movie viewing booths at places like electric vehicle charging stations. 
See, I've never even been in an electric vehicle, so I don't know what that's like, but I feel like you don't want to sit there and charge your vehicle for an hour and a half, two hours, though. Just take your tablet with you and watch something at that point. Because that's a really long time to be sitting there charging your car, isn't it? Members only chat is super fast. Can't even read my messages now. What are you talking about, Simon? I got your messages right here. That was more intensive than I thought it would be, and I'd like to apologize. Maybe Tesla Cookie is going to... Oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't even see it. I would love to see personal movies. Okay, so all that. I'm going to say, okay, good deal. Good deal. Is this uh, Clay Rock Low Volume Wishes? No, dude. I went low volume to be like 1 million shares. I, at 2 million shares sh or 20 million shares by noon, they're still going to have enough shares during the entire day that their days to cover are only one or two days. I want to see days to cover in a month, man. Black Trump! Take it to Super Chat. Black Trump says, I wonder if OnlyFans going to IPO. I also wonder if OnlyFans will one day IPO. I really don't know if they will. Would anybody buy and invest in OnlyFans? Interesting. Black Trump, good question. Would anybody invest in OnlyFans? J-Man says, what kind of a day would it be if we didn't see Clay eating a banana? J-Man, thank you very much. You got the banana? You peel that banana. You peel that banana. You peel that banana. You peel that banana. banana. Licking stick technique. You got the banana? Natalie, if you're in here, this is for you. Mm. Mm. Ah. Thank you very much, J-Man. I appreciate the banana. Lick and stick technique for all of you guys out there, but uh, specifically compliments of Natalie. Thank you for teaching me the lick and stick. Has anyone else read about a chimpanzee killing a gorilla? I have not. Tesla is going to make solar-powered rooftops. Just speculation, but that would be amazing. I think they already have those, don't they? Or is that just a prototype at this point? Because I've seen something about that in the past. Nikki89, thank you for the super sticker. <coughs> guys. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much, Nikki 89 for the boom, 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 Everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you very much, Nikki 89. One, two, three, four. Thank you very much, Nikki 89 for the Kung Fu action. I like it, and you're starting to get me a little, starting to get me a little warm in here, guys. The cardio is kicking in. Can AMC stop dropping? Skype, Skype. AMC can stop dropping, and I think it did stop dropping just because you asked nicely. Looky here, looky here. AMC stop dropping, and now we are gonna roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Absolutely, Oprah. Here we go. There we go. We're gonna bounce off that line and move higher now. 80 dropped 30% today. You think it's a buy at the current price? King of Clouds, man. I don't even know what the price is right now, but a lot of people still seem interested in ATER. If you want to get in, get in. But know that if, you know trying to catch a falling knife can be dangerous sometimes. I think the main business model of OnlyFans has a lot to do with the ability to be anonymous, and I think a lot of people won't publicly show support in into it that way. Cub, bro. Yeah, that's true, but uh, I don't know. A lot of people... I mean, you don't have to tell people what you own in your portfolio, so... At the same time, I don't know. They can sell shares of it. Nobody knows what shares you own. Stop, drop, and rip. Absolutely. Could be the dip before the rip. It could be. Yeah, you definitely could. Nikki 89 likes the... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Boom. Steeper. JB. Steeper. Just a little steeper. Oh, yeah. Just a little steeper. 634 on the stream. Is this the mother of all short squeezes? Just kidding, Clay, bro. Adrian. <clears throat> Thank you. Guys, how many likes do we have? We over 500 likes right now? Clay, are Clay, are we a on a bear market now? Joan de Jesus, I don't think we're on a bear market now, man. I don't think we're anywhere near a bear market yet. We got to sustain some more downward action before we get into a bear market, dude. Daniel says, look at this, guys. Look, if you're wondering about ATER, -E -E there's a lot of interest going on with ATER -E right now. It seems to be mentioned at least once per minute. So people are definitely on board with what could be happening in ATER. So if you're if, if 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 you're wondering whether or not you should get into it, at least know there's several people that are very interested in it at this point. Right, but isn't public so social sentiment more important than private interest in being an owner? Oh my gosh, yes, yes, quite possibly. So in that in that aspect, yeah. But at the same time, dude, if they make money, you might want to invest in them. 
It says, not good. Breaking down below that line. Hitting a brand new low on the day. Well, there it goes for them making that line steeper. There goes all that niceness that we had. All right, AMC going down today. We're going to watch that bad boy, Claybrook, be cracking up. Now, now, y'all, it happens, man. It happens. Let's be, and Dow also in the red, not worried about AMC because shorts still have to cover. Also, not financial advice, but don't go chasing plays. You might get burned. Always future plays. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I mean, don't get burned, but if you're, if you know, you're allowed to buy a stock that you think could go up, though, too. You need to do a live stream at 6.30 Pacific Time, 6.30 a.m. Pacific Time, so I can watch you more before work. Miguel! I could, man. I could, but if I did at 9.30 in the morning, right at the market open, then I wouldn't be able to go until 1. I would have to do, like, 9.30 to 11.30 or something, 9.30 to noon again. I don't know. Something around that area, 9.30, probably to 11. What's up, Clay? What's going on, Jordan? 601 streamers. 601 streamers. Come on, guys. Click that like button. 600 people in here, not even 300 likes. What are you guys doing? Hit the like button. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I'm telling you, man. Don't make me beg for likes, but it really does help. All you got to do is go click the X, click the like, and click live chat again. It's actually going to be very beneficial for everybody if you do. So, yeah, take JB's advice and click the like button. Hope you guys sold covered calls. Greg, I don't know if everybody sold covered calls in here or not, man. Where'd you sell your covered calls at, Greg? Where'd you sell your covered calls? Because you can still get burnt by the end of the week, dude. There's plenty of time. Short attacks in the work. I remember to like this time. Thank you very much, Copper. I appreciate what up, Club. What's up, Timothy? How you doing, man? <coughs> Rub the lava lamp for good luck. Lava lamp is just starting to warm up. Very, very nice. Look, the, the lava lamp's actually got a little class now. You got a little hat on instead of just a cap. I'm lost 300 close or hold? Mo, you lost $300? You want to know if you should close or hold? Is that what you mean? Or you, you're, you're actually lost? I don't understand. Dang, Greg, you sold, you sold cover calls at 53? You're a dangerous man, dude. You're a dangerous man. Mo down 300 on what? Half of you haven't liked the stream. Fix that. Thank you very much, Andrew. Fix that, guys. Click that like button. Let's see it. What is AMC going to do? Is it going to bounce? Looks like it's going to bounce. Maybe it's going to bounce back down, too. Let's watch this bad boy play out here. New low on the day. $49.55. $49.50. Hopefully, we bounce off here and we don't continue this afternoon downtrend that we have. Where's $50? Let's go back to $50. Hopefully we don't continue this afternoon downtrend that we got going on right now. Nice little dip after that rip up there. So we can hopefully bounce right here and watch this bad boy move higher into the lunch break. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, what's up? Dude, he said rub, not molest. Oh, that is true, Lex. That's true. Nikki said rub, not molest. My bad. My bad. I just you, you get carried away sometimes. This is climate change. Dip time to load up. This is a climate change. Might be a climate change. If that sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. I hope it closes at $50 at least. Aisha, I also hope that it closes above $50 today. Does anyone look at Frankfurt? Frankfurt? Oh, you mean the Frankfurt Exchange? I have not seen Frankfurt today. Red Day, it'll be okay. One downtrend is not the end. Dude, two down days is not the end. We've had several. If you guys can't resist the... The down days at this point. Look, we had some pretty down days here. For quite some time. Month and a half, man. Two months almost. Going down. Now we're going back up. <gasps> you know what we could be forming? A big old cup and handle. A big old cup and handle. Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh. We might be getting it. All right, let's see what we got. NT, man, NT. Thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you. Click that like button. NT says, click that like button. Thank you very much, NT, for the thumbs up. Guys, don't forget to click that like button. And one more time, click that like button, NT. Thank you very much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. And guys, do not forget to click that like button like NT says right there. Do it. I like Bratwurst. Mr. Anything Tech? Yeah, Bratwurst is good, man. Wait, how many green days in a row now? Is it the five green day curse? 
It might be, but I think we had three green days in a row, man. I don't think we were at five. I think we closed green. I, I believe it was Wednesday, maybe. We had Thursday, Friday, and Monday green. This is a baby down day. No sweat. Yeah, Greg, we got this, man. Oh, gosh, she said it. I don't even know what I said, man, but I said something. Wake me up when September ends. Yes, Doc, do it. Canadian Force Station, a latrine is torturing me with microwave frequency weapons. Michael Miller, that sounds intense, man. What did you do to deserve that? That's crazy. They're shorting it. The GG the Gary Gensler hearing was worthless, but they short shares anyway. AMC was due for consolidation and drop. I'm surprised it didn't happen last Friday. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. We touched uh, 52, what, yesterday? I think it's just bouncing back off that, man, from that 52 level that we were at. Why would I quit buying options? I hold stocks, too. Mr. Anything Tech, I have no idea why you would quit buying options. Hey, Clay, bro. They ask about other positions. Super funny Twitter DM sent. Can you check out later? I will try my best and up to 23 followers. Thanks, bro. Absolutely, Frank, man. Heck yeah, man. And I'll try to check that out a little bit later. Maybe on the lunch break. If not, hopefully tonight. Jay Sam. Thank you for the super chat. Jay Sam says, you think the squeeze happens before the year is over? Jay Sam, dude, I hope the squeeze happens before the year is over. Here's the deal. And this is just my honest opinion, man. And I don't know when this is going to happen. Okay. But if you're looking at it from a technical perspective, and you know that we've got a serious level of resistance right in this area, okay, we get it. That this area is not going to be that easy. 52 to 55, and then this all this area in here, it's not going to be that easy to break. Okay? Like a lot of people think that we're just going to clean break it and start running. I don't know why they think that, guys. I, I truly don't. I, I truly don't understand why they think that this this doesn't mean anything in here. So once we break this, though, I do believe we have the opportunity to watch AMC squeeze. Why? Because day traders have nothing in their, in their path to tell them to sell. FOMO buyers will kick in. Hedge funds are going to know that there's no resistance on the chart and that they could potentially be willing to go out and cover their shares of AMC. Knowing that eventually sentiment is going to shift, people are going to get scared again, and they're going to start taking profits and create that selling pressure. So they might want, they might want to get out in here, just like a day trader would, just like a, a technical trader would, and then watch it rise up because they know there's nothing to stop it from rising. So if that's the case, we could have a potential short squeeze once we start to break this area and start to hit brand new highs. Only way to ruin that is if People go out, sell the stock, create that selling pressure, and allow the short shares to buy those positions back and cover the shares they have. <clears throat> now, whether or not that happens before the end of the year or at some point after the end of the year, I have no idea on that. Just looking at the chart, that's what I see the best opportunity being at the moment. What do you guys think about Apple? I, I mean, I like Apple as a company. I like it long term. What do you? Uh, what about GME? Do the hedge funds cover? The hedge funds have not covered all their shares in GME yet either. Look how long it took for them to bring it down, and now look how long. Uh, look at and see how fast we're going up with the shorts are screwed. Yeah, Highlands. I don't think the shorts are in a very good position at this point. I really don't. If the spy falls. I think Apple would also. If Apple falls, and the spy might also fall too. I think Apple's pretty heavily weighted. In the SP 500, please explain why you don't want spying to spy options. It's a derivative. Oh, I think you might be talking to somebody else on that one. Man, my bad. Are they let it run up. Speak about options. They're gonna make sure it stays under 50 because there's so many calls. You're giving your money away. Maybe, man. Maybe. But at the same time, we did close above 50 last week. And also on that same note, I truly don't think that they're that powerful. I truly don't think that the hedge funds and market makers are that powerful that they can pinpoint a price target and get it there at will. Yeah, I know that's manipulation. I, I Yeah, I know you guys think that they, they do do that. But if they did, and if these hedge funds and market makers went out there and they were able to essentially guarantee profits, they would do so much better than the overall market and the overall market consistently outperforms money managers. So, I mean, that right there to me is proof that 
it's money managers don't outperform the market the market outperforms money managers therefore the manipulation and the the corruption that a lot of people think about is it's kind of like self-defeating because if they did manipulate it to that extent uh, they should at least do well better well over the the market returns uh, thank you for your feedback. I love your energy. Hi, Lins. Thank you very much for being in here. Make sure to click the like button if you haven't already. Uh, Apple might fall a bit with news of hackers breaking firmware, forcing an update. Okay, I did not know anything about that. I don't own an Apple. Don't hack my phone. Seriously, don't hack my phone. If you guys, if any of you guys are hackers out there, don't hack my phone. It's just rude. Uh, AMZ continuing to move down, looking for a buying opportunity, guys. We could be coming up on one right now. And then the next lot, when you zoom out like that, look, that does look like a very big drop when you zoom out and then pull this bad boy down. It's like, oh my gosh. But like, don't be terribly concerned, guys, because it's all in perspective. Uh, let's see. We broke through that. I don't want to be, so we do have a little bit of support in this area right here. Okay. Little. But if we do fall through this, I don't want anybody to be upset if we retest this area between 48 and 48.50 in here. So please do not be upset if we retest support. It's exactly why support exists. It's exactly why it's there. If you want to be upset at anybody, be upset at the day traders who saw the resistance that we talked about back here in the $52 range and be upset at them for thinking it was a good idea to sell when we reach that level of resistance again so direct your anger towards someone constructive and that would be towards day traders at this point don't do it clay don't do it i don't even know what i'm doing man but i promise i won't do it facts back over 50 let's get it zoom in for zen oh <laughs> hey we're just still talking about zooming in there sorry guys i, I didn't want to freak anybody out by zooming in on the candle like that but you just i mean you gotta keep it in perspective okay that's the candle's not that bad, but when you go crazy on it, it does look like uh, something that would freak a lot of people out. Like if you see that on the chart, you know, that freaks a lot of people out when you see that right there. But no, don't cry too soon. Like it's still okay. It's still okay. Ah, Dinkleberg. 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 Man, I forget who Dinkleberg is. Day Traders is the devil. Yeah, my mama says Day Traders is the devil. And they are. Mom, mama will let me hang out with day traders because they be the devil. Quick, take a look at CROX. Uh, dude, man, I'll have to check out CROX afterwards. I don't typically bring up other charts on the screen just because I want to keep the focus on AMC as much as possible. Yeah, we could talk about other stocks. We could look at other stocks You know, at some point, maybe after hours, if you guys really do want to. But... I just I want to I want to try my best to keep the focus on AMC. So because, dude, hedge funds want us to lose our focus on it too. Maybe after hours though. If AMC is trading super slow, ooh, I know why fall. You are live. Just joking, Robert. What? I know why fall. You are live. No, Robert. It's not falling because I'm live. Come on now. Hello, all. great vid. Thank you very much, Jacob. I appreciate that. Check your email, Clay. Ed, do. Uh, I have to check it afterwards, man. I don't. I don't have that email in this tablet right here. I have it on the phone. And I'm using the phone to live stream right now. It's 18 a high short interest. Dazzle. Yes, 18 is higher than average, and the 100 million shares that potentially need cover on AMC stock right now are. It's a large sum, man. It's a large sum. So I would say that yes, it's a it's a decent short interest. Not say uh, bro, Croc man, they'll they'll go great with the camo cargo shirts. Dinkelberg is the neighbor and family. Yes, yes, his father hates Dinkelberg. Now I remember. Timmy's dad always blames him for everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember. I was like Dinkelberg, dude, that sounds so familiar. Who is that guy? Fairly odd parents neighbor. Gotcha. Now it makes sense. Uh, I don't to BBIG and got eight, got eight and a half more shares of AMC. It's a better return. Not to not to on with BBIG. Matthew, dude, AMC is is performing very nicely recently. AMC has been outperforming the market. It's been going up. It's been doing very well. So yeah, I would say that BBIG might possibly be better put into AMC at this point. But I don't know. I wasn't in BBIG. It's fall. The fall down is predictable. Check thirty minute chart. Perfect pattern. 
Let's see, man. Perfect pattern. Interesting. Uh, what's the pattern here, man? Bouncing off resistance and then coming back down to support or what? Is that what you got, man? Bouncing off resistance in here and then falling through and uh, going to retest. Where, where do you think we're going to fall to? Like 49.20 or you think we're going to dip all the way back down to 48? What you think, my man? Either way, we're going to be doing... No! Oh. All right, Streamlabs, don't act up now. Please don't act up now, Streamlabs. Don't do it. Zoom in. Cool. We're back. 48. They say 48. No, it could be. Man, these charts sure do be charting. They sure do. So predicament. <laughs> these charts are charting, man. Predictable predicaments. Come on back up. Pancakes is here. What's up, Pancakes? Be back and the dude have to drive. Oh, no. Pancakes is always dry. Pancakes stays busy, man. If day traders are really driving the stock down today, then they're about to drive it back up on the dip set. Psychicology, yeah, most likely. So they're like a blessing and a curse all in one because they provide a lot of buying power. <clears throat> when the stock goes down, it bounces off support, but they provide a lot of selling pressure when the stock goes up and it's touching resistance. So it's a double-edged sword, man. I will be back later. Good deal, Pancakes. Make sure you come back for the 3 o'clock stream if you're not back in the next half hour. AMC is a better return. BBIG was not worth my time anymore. Nice, Matthew. Way to look at your opportunity cost there for it and go there and go for the, the better return. I like it, man. Pancakes, how are you doing today? Pancakes is hopefully doing very well today. Price the prediction. Julian. Price the prediction? I don't know. That's worth not having. What's worse? Not having enough money. Not having enough buying power or having money sitting here in buying power and just waiting to attack. Not having enough buying power is always worse, dude. It's never a bad thing to sit on your hands, plan your trade, and, and wait for the good opportunity. That's, that's always worse if you just don't have the opportunity or don't have the funds to make a buy. There's nothing wrong with sitting on your hands and getting in later. Clay, see you in second stream. Have a good day. See you later, everybody. Crypto Rockets here, man. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon slash evening. And yes, we will be back at 3 o'clock. If you guys are leaving now, we're staying for another 20 minutes or so. Clay, bro, JT Wisco. About to drive for a do Doing great. See you soon again. Thank you very much, Pam Cakes. Be safe, Pam Cakes. Don't, don't text and drive. It's all right. We can wait. Price prediction end of day, end of day. Julian, I would love to close above fifty dollars end of day, but I have no idea where it's gonna go. Darn hedge funds. That's what I'm saying, Chris. Hey Clay, I watched your latest video earlier today. If there's a round two, we will have lots of money. Johan, yes. We will be prepared. We will know what to expect. And people will not be as antsy and as excited, like and, and worried about selling as they are. If there's a round two, man, we're going to take them. We're going to take them. Dude, we're going to take them. Oh, my gosh. If there's a round two, shoot, I'm ready. Anybody else ready for a round two if there is one? If they decide to short AMC during the squeeze and try to ride it back down, you guys ready for a round two? Peace, family. The dude, you leaving, man? What is this hair trying to fall down here for? Crazy, man. I don't know what's going on with that. KR $42 for next week. Looking cheap under 80 cents. Nick, very nice. 5170. Sidekick College, you got 5170 coming in today. I'm in. Greg is ready for a round two. I love it, Greg. Drive safe, Pam the trader. Yes, drive safe, Pam. Please do. Hector, you didn't find me at the USC game. See you on F. Oh my gosh. Hector, why did you not find Pam Cakes at the USC game? That was your one job, dude. Come on. I'm not selling until 15,000. They slowly sell a few here and there. I or then slowly sell a few here and there. I got 90, so spacing it out. Very nice, Jacob. Hey, and listen, Jacob, don't be. If everything points to the squeeze being over before 15, don't be so caught up on 15 that you don't take advantage of the squeeze. So, but yes, but dude, I'm glad you got a price in mind that you're wanting to wait to. I'm glad you got a plan in mind on how you're gonna exit. So that's the stuff that I want to see, man. But just I don't want to say don't call an audible if if things are looking like we should be selling. Don't be like, well, it's 15 or bust. Like, don't bust. Take advantage of the profit in some way. Find it hard to believe that it goes above 100. John, I know. From $2 to $100 in a very short amount of time. It's very hard to believe, right? But 
I, I don't think that that's impossible to go above $100. And I, I think that every day we go up, we only get a double in price from here. I think that every day we get closer, people think, oh, yeah, maybe it could, maybe it could, maybe it could. And then we rip a new one, then, you know, we're going to have FOMO buyers jumping on, and it's going to be a very good, very good turnout for us. Uh, what do you mean? I'm holding 1,400 shares, my man. Jerry Beans is holding strong. Pam the trader. No, but I asked a lot of diamond booties if they were Pam. Oh, my gosh. Hector, you tried, man. You tried. My bad, I'm listening to Jerry Bean. I heard of uh, Steam X last week. Steam X is coming on 18 September. The big CEX ever. Steam X. Okay, we got a lot of Steam X spams in here. Steam X is something, man. I don't know. You guys. The bots have struck. I don't know what Steam X is, man, but it sounds like a very good Canadian exchange. So if you want to check that out, check that out. Jen and Anthony. Thank you very much for the super chat. Genesis. Canadian exchange token launch on 18th. Bullish for Steam X. Thank you very much for bringing all of the, the Steam X spam in here and at least grabbing a super chat with, uh, I don't even know what currency that is, man. Don't even know what currency that is. Is that yen or what is that? Bot attack with the Steam. Hey, at least the bots pay these days, right? Shoot, dude, if the bots wants to pay, you guys, you guys can spam all day long in super chats. Dude, I'm telling you, if you guys want to spam about Steam X, Dude, spam it all day in, in the, uh, the Super Chats. No joke. Counselor Diamond Hands Marie! Thank you for the Super Chat. Counselor Diamond Hands says, We are not leaving Fire Rocket Apes. We got them Fire Rocket Apes in here, and we are not leaving Counselor Murray. Apps, a Counselor Diamond Hands. I'm sorry if I use an old name that you got, and you don't want me to use that, man. I'm very sorry for that. Counselor Diamond Hands, we are not leaving, man. Absolutely. We're destroying it, and we're staying here. We're holding strong, and we're going to watch this bad boy squeeze. Heck yeah. This is my favorite channel. What is SteamX? SteamX, everyone? I don't know. SteamX sounds like a Canadian exchange, but it is true, guys. If you want to spam about SteamX, spam it in the Super Chats. That helps everybody out. I'd rather stair step than rock it up. Having support levels on the way up is, and you know what? That is true if, you, if you're expecting dips to come back down. Having support levels on the way up is definitely going to be better than just rocketing up and having no support all the way back down. Uh, hold it down, y'all. Absolutely juice. Steam exchange will be huge. Can't wait. Oh, my goodness. Listen to that hype. And uh, the I don't even know what that is, man. It can't be yen. Anybody know what that currency was? I don't even know what that symbol is for the currency there. No, I told you guys, if you sp don't don't spam and get all crazy now, you guys can promote your your coins and your exchanges. I'm on board with that, like all day long. Promote it, just don't spam it. And if you want to come in here and you want to say like, super chat, go buy SteamX Exchange, go sign up for it all day long, guys, all day long, do it. Just don't, like, don't spam it at the point where people can't read the chat. That's it. But I have no problem with you guys promoting anything you want to promote in here. Just be cool. Dude, on it, man. Is it the dip is comical? Of course this is a manipulation. Of course it's not. I really don't know if it's a manipulation, dude. I really think that people are selling from that resistance that we were at. Truthfully, I do. So excited to finally click the sell button during the squeeze. Aisha, I think some people are going to forget what the sell button is, and they're going to be so nervous about clicking it because they've held her song that they don't, they, they don't want to do it. Send more, please. Oil tip is like, send more, please. I dare you. What are you doing? I dare you to send more. Hey, Vigilante, how was your stream last night, man? Because I saw that as I was making my video, and then I had to go pick my car up. And uh, Oh, Vigilante, you work on cars, man. Have you ever... Have you ever found yourself in this situation? Okay, so I had some, I was getting my wheel bearings replaced. And they took the wheel bearing, they could not get the, they call it a knuckle. I don't know if you're calling it a knuckle down there either. But the CV axle, the knuckle, the spindle, the wheel bearing, everything was fused together. Okay, they took the CV axle off the car. They could not press it out with their commercial hydraulic press. They could not press the axle out of it. They could not press the axle. They, they could not press the bearing out of the knuckle. They could not press anything out with their commercial grade hydraulic press, man. It was stuck. They torched it. They couldn't do anything with it to get it out. Like, think about that, man. Have you ever incurred something? Have you ever come across anything that you could not use your hydraulic press? Or if you have one or if you use one. I don't know if you do. But 
Have you ever come across anything that you could not press out? Yeah, yeah, dude. I had to get everything. I had to get a brand new axle too because they jacked it all up. They, 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 like I had to get a new CV axle. I had to get a, I didn't get a brand new hub because that was $272 just for what they're calling the knuckle, right? And then I would have had it in either, I had to get another spindle, which was another $105 from the dealer and so on. Dude, $105 for the spindle at the dealer, $26 at AutoZone for the exact same part. I told the guy at the dealer, I was like, dude, I just bought that this morning for $26 at AutoZone. You want $105 for that? And he just laughed. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying $105 for that. But nobody has like the knuckle, the part of the hub that, that everything bolts onto. They're just that solid block of steel. So I went down to a, uh, like a scrap yard and I was luckily able to get one of those. They had one in my entire area and I got that. But dude, it, it was the entire hub when I bought it. It was $52. It had the knuckle, had the spindle, had a bearing, had the speed sensor. Like it had everything in it. And I did have to buy a brand new axle though, because I didn't ask them if they had one of those. I just got a new one from uh, O'Reilly's. Clay bro, we just diamond hand this dip. Coach, I'm diamond handing this dip, man. Why is so fast? Why is so fast? Natalie, what is so fast? I don't even know what's so fast. Clay, Jihad, Ikea, Sorrento, and the right. I had Ikea Sorrento on the right axle, and everything you said was completely shattered for me. Yeah, it didn't shatter. Like, everything was just fused together, man. And I didn't know. It happens, never fun. So you have had stuff that you couldn't press apart before. Because here's the dude at the Kia dealership, man. I go to the Kia dealer, and this is him. He goes, well, he goes, yeah, man, yeah, we could press that apart. Because I had I had one of my friends working on it, and he couldn't press it apart with, with his press. And he goes, oh, yeah, we could press that apart, man. We got a commercial grade press in here. We can get anything apart. I'm like, because look, dude, look. I don't want to play, I don't want to pay you 100 it was $110. I don't want to pay you $110 to play some guessing games. I was like, so do you think that you can press it apart? He's like, well, do you want me to press it apart? You want me to try? And I'm like, look, dude, look, I have no idea what you're capable of. You know what you're capable of. You tell me if you think you're going to be able to press this thing apart. And he goes, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to be able to get it apart. <laughs> he couldn't get it apart. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So anyway, I went and got that $52 part that I was talking about, and then he put a new wheel bearing in it. He, he pressed the old wheel bearing out of that and then put a new wheel bearing in it that I had bought. And got that in there. But yeah, dude, it was funny. He was all he was like a little upset that he couldn't press it apart. And then his buddy, because I walked back there, I'm like, dude, now tell me. Have you ever come across anything you couldn't press apart before? Is this the like what is this? And he was like, uh, no, not really, man. I'm kinda sorry that I said I could <laughs> his buddy was like, Nope, this is the first one, man. You've got the only thing we couldn't press apart. And I'm like, oh jeez, dude. That's that's crazy. Um, well, listen, man, at the same time, though, and yeah, they did charge me 110 bucks. He pressed the new wheel bearing in, all that stuff, which my friend could have done. He could have pressed that in. But at the same time, man, he was pretty confident that he could press it out and he couldn't do it. So I just didn't know if you come across anything like that. And Joey Face, man, think of the Super Chat Joey Face. Joey says, hey, bro, I've been watching a while. Will you go on record and say five, fifty thousand, 50000 to 100000 a million per share is crazy? I think it hurts the movement. Joey. Listen, here's the deal. Those are crazy prices, man. Those are definitely crazy prices. I've said that like a million times. Those are not easy prices to hit. But here's the thing. A million? I, I didn't even want to entertain a million. So, yeah, a million's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to say a million's not going to happen. But stuff when you start talking like 50000 to to 100000 I'm not personally on board that it's going to be easily attainable to get those. I'm going to even say that it's going to be extremely difficult to get to those prices because everybody's going to be so tempted before we ever get there to reach those prices that they're going to be looking at taking profits. Now, there's a caveat, man, because they are possible. Those prices are possible. And if everybody surprises me and if everybody actually holds the stock and they don't play these dumb games like they're playing right here and we're going up to $52 and they're like, that's a good time to sell AMC. And then we dip back down below. If they surprise me, man, if they hold this stock, then yes, those prices are something that we can see and are something that we can reach. But unfortunately, it's not going to be as easy as a lot of people say. But on the same hand, man, on the other side of that, uh, on the other side of that coin, they are definitely a possibility. So it's just whatever people are willing to do when the time comes. Uh, I think realistic could be around 25. 
Jacob, yeah, everybody's going to have a different idea of what's realistic and what's hard to reach and so on. It's just the higher you go, the more difficult it's going to be. Clearly, there were people who thought $50 was going to be extremely difficult when AMC was trading at $2 per share. We're at 50 now. Like 50 is uh, it's just, that's nothing. We're at $50 right now. There's people who don't think we're ever going to reach 100 Well, when we reach 100 you know, they're going to be like, well, okay, now 200 all we got to do is double in price from there. 200 is going to be hard. <laughs> okay, well, we'll reach 200 and so on. So it, it all comes down, man, to where people are willing to sell. Uh, so I just, uh, I don't know what people are going to be able to do, how long they're going to be able to hold out, but absolutely possible, but very difficult. 10,000 a good floor to start. Dude, whatever you guys think is a good floor to start, shoot, because your floors are higher than mine, man. If we reach your floors, I'm going to be really, really happy. Maple syrup is more valuable than gold. Cognitive. Maple syrup also tastes really good, man. Uh, let's see here. He possesses dumb. I don't know what. Joe S. Three times GME. Top could happen. I, I think it could, man. I think it could. Each coin has a little dollar of maple syrup inside to keep the crypto actually backed by something to hold its value. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, Joe. Joe, why don't you like me, man? I didn't even see it. Why don't you like me? Do you think I'm dumb? I mean, some people probably do think I'm dumb, but it's all right, man. I, I don't think I'm that dumb. Yuck! Someone said yuck on something. D oh, my goodness. Grandpa Barney is here. Grandpa Barney in the house, baby. Baby, love you, my boy. Love you too, Grandpa Barney. Buy the dip, family. Put the pressure on them. Put the pressure on the other team. Bought more yesterday and today at 100. You will forget about 50. Anybody thinking about 25 right now? Is anybody thinking about 25 per share? Very unlikely that you're thinking about $25 per share right now. So yes, Grandpa Barney is absolutely right. When we get to 100, there's a very low likelihood that you're gonna be thinking about $50 per share. So thank you very much, Grandpa Barney, for the support, for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. And you are absolutely correct on that. Why is it dropping so much in price sell-offs? Yeah, Natalie, so I believe we saw the $52 resistance tested and we busted down. Oh, see, we tried to stay steady at $50 today. We tried to stay steady at $50 today. We couldn't stay steady at $50 to say, today. So unfortunately, we dropped that back down through. And if you come out to the next level of support that we have, we may, and we've already talked about uh, the potential of reaching back down to 48, 48, 50. And it, it seems like we could be falling back down into this area from here, $48 to $48.50, where you see all these candles right here. I mean, you, you can see where these candles are, the thickness of these. We could see a drop back down to 48 to 48.50 today, since we fell through support here. And uh, I mean, it's just, that's just, that's how it happens, guys. I don't like it, just like you don't like it, but at least we're gonna have support in that area right in there. And we won't have to worry about it falling too much further if we if we hold up with that support quick reminder we're still up 50 percent in the past month brett thank you very much we are definitely still up and doing very well right now but uh, let's move this back out to a one minute chart so we can see what's going on here all right can do uh amc clay amc going up and down on everyone it's just like my ex-wife i'm cool oh no that doesn't sound like a very that doesn't sound like something i'm interested in so i've been asking you something i keep copying and pasting and you don't even read it gosh darn it Whoa, 11-11 Simon, I read that one, man. Haven't thought of 25, but now we were talking about it. Makes my mouth water. <laughs> Chris, 25 would be a nice buy, wouldn't it? Definition of dumb. Temporarily unable or unwilling to speak. Clay's been talking all morning. Bet you feel silly and uneducated now, don't you? Cut, bro, man. Might drop on that one. Uh, Joe S. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Cut, bro. Cut, bro brought the heat on that one, dude. Cupro bought the heat on that one, and uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Grandpa Barney, don't retract messages. Let's see. Glenna was laughing at that one. I know, man. Steve can confirm. Steve, I didn't even see what you said. The main problem is you driving. No, Steve. That is not the main problem. That is like the, the best thing ever. You've been in a Kia Forte lately, my man? You need to get in one. 
I'm cool. Sorry, yes. Sorry and laugh out loud. I'm cool. I'm also sorry and not laugh out loud, man, because that's just that's bad news, dude. We don't ever want that to happen to anybody. Don't worry. We still have until market close. Lex, we do have until market close. And it's going to be a good afternoon, guys. I'm feeling a good afternoon. AMC hits 25. I will load up again. Hector, nice, man. This Friday is huge in terms of the amount of calls expiring in the money and out of the it puts expiring out of the money at this moment. They are throwing everything they can at this stock. Hey, it's very high likelihood that they are. They don't want options expiring in the money. They don't want us to make money, guys. Just bought 500 more. 48.50 is a test. Nice, man. Loading up, 500 more shares. Very good, GZKTV. Why 25? Because it was half of 50, and he said, you're not going to be thinking about 50 when we're at 100. So I said, we, are, is anybody thinking about 25 right now because we're at 50? Hey, SteamX boys, I'll bring more next time. It didn't even break a sweat. Nice! Except that the street, if the SteamX boys bring more next time in, in the form of Super Chats, don't ban them because they're allowed to send Super Chats. $70 strike. <laughs> you got it's a dangerous strike, man. You're way out there. I like it. It's a typical AMC. I load up on call options tomorrow. I'm buying 10 for January. Very nice, Eli. I like it. $70 strike. Dude's going for it, man. $70 strike. I, dude, you're on it. GG, it's over. Dank Wolf 420. What's over, man? <coughs> afternoon, the afternoon or the morning, mid afternoon, morning afternoon, early afternoon, fall. Hey, I have some 70s. There you go, Jerry. My AMC exit, hopefully five orders and 10% of position each going up. And one order of 50% on the way down. Frank. Frank is ready, man. He's a guy, he's wishing himself luck. But Frank is ready. Good deal, man. What's over? Your high school football career? Possibly, but he may mean the, the morning dip is over. And now we're going to bounce back up. See y'all. 11-11, Simon. See y'all. That clay's too busy for me. No, I'm not too busy for you, Simon. Do not leave. Come on, man. I really didn't even see if you had to say something else. I read your last one. But uh, copy and paste it again, man. You're all good. Joey Face, Claver. Also, what's your background in trading? How long wins you've had, bad or losses have you had? Just a little bit about you. Here, man. I, I don't go into... I don't go into, and very thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. I don't go into too much detail, man, about the background because I want to maintain the idea that this is all financial education, entertainment at its, at its finest, financial entertainment, adult entertainment at its finest. But uh, I, I can tell you, man, that I have been in and around the stock market for a very long time, and uh, it's just... Dude, I don't want to just dive too far into what I was doing for work or anything like that. I just don't want anybody to start thinking that I know more than you know and anything that would cause you to reasonably rely on my ideas, my recommendations, my opinions, any of that. So I, I just ask that if you want to kind of understand a little bit more or get into what I know and so on, just ask questions, man. And if you think that it sounds like something that is correct, you can go out and test me. You can go out and look up different definitions and so on and, and get your confidence that way instead of me directly telling you that I've done this, I've done this. And then you reasonably rely on it or anybody on the internet reasonably relies on it. And then, you know, I just, I don't know, man. The internet's a dangerous place. So I just want to create some persona where it's financial entertainment and don't want to drag anybody into ever saying that, well, he worked in this industry or he studied this in college, so I should be able to reasonably rely upon him. And he said that AMC should go or he hopes it goes to a thousand. So therefore I held to a thousand and, and I lost money because it never reached a thousand or something. So I'm, I'm very sorry. I always, because some people do ask about that every once in a while. And I'm very sorry when you ask about it in a, in a super chat and I can't directly answer it because I always want to answer every super chat directly, man, and, and just be as honest as I can about that. I just don't want anybody relying on anything they shouldn't. Why are we back at 48? Asthma. I don't say it. I don't say it. I'm this. It's all right, though. We're going to bounce back off 48, Hajma. We will. Clay, can you teach me how to properly wheel, wheel arc in NVIDIA? Yeah, dude. If we, 
NVIDIA, man, I would hold NVIDIA for a long time. NVIDIA is a very strong company. If you look at the long-term chart on NVIDIA, you're, you're doing very well if you've been in that for any amount of time. Clay, how are you? Janet B. Oh, my goodness, Janet B. Where have you been? I've not been on the live for a while. I know. That's why I asked, where have you been? So long, but still try to watch your videos when I have time. Miss that sexy peach years. Oh, my goodness. Hope everything is doing great and still holding. Janet B. Yes, we are still holding in here. Thank you very much for coming back. Please don't ever be too busy that you can't come by and at least say hello to me. I mean, it doesn't take that much time out of your day to swing by, say hello, click the like button, and make everybody in here happier because you're in here. Janet, we are glad you're in here. Stay with us as long as possible. Except it's 1 o'clock right now, so come back at 3 o'clock because we're going to break for lunch. Doc, you're starting to see it? Something I've seen it for a year and a half, for half a year. Maybe, speaking of college, not asking what you did, but I am a veteran, so I have college benefits. I was curious, if I were to go to go for stock stuff, what kind of degree to go for and or good classes to take? Yeah, man, so I don't know what college you're going to go to or what, what majors they offer, but you, typically there's a corporate finance, I don't know, track or, or major you can take and a personal finance major you can take. Either one, you're going to have, you're going to be taking personal finance classes, you're going to be taking corporate finance classes. It just all depends on which track you're going for and, and so on. But personal finance would be more along the lines of a financial advisor, somebody who can tell you, you know, how to plan for a person's future, what investments somebody should be getting into, what's safe how to diversify, how to uh, potentially outperform the market, and then summing it all up, telling you that you can't outperform the market over the long run, the market's always gonna win, blah, blah, blah. Corporate finance, you're more or less gonna be getting into different things, like how to, how to read and look at income statements, balance sheets, understand everything about cash flow statements, and what it takes to run and be like a financial analyst for a corporation. And, and, dude, both of them are pretty interesting. So at that point, if you do want to go to college for either one of those, I think either one's a, a good way to do it. Major difference would be corporate finance. You could pretty much run a corporation, be a financial analyst for a corporation, see how the corporation's doing. Personal finance, you could go out there and be a financial advisor understand what investments are safe, what investments you should be looking at, how to judge a person's risk tolerance and what they should be getting into. So if it's, I don't know why I know so much about corporate and personal finance, but that is apparently what both of those degrees would be like on that end. So uh, yeah, if that sounds like something you're interested in, I say you get started. He's probably also talking about things. It's someone telling about yourself. Could be wrong, but I'm betting you'd be bad at poker. Me? Oh, dude, I'd be really good at poker. I mean, if I had like double aces, I'd be like, <laughs> yes. And then if you if you got two aces on the table, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'd be really good at at, uh, at poker there. Either way, guys, it is lunchtime. It's one o'clock. So here's the deal. We are going to be coming back at 3 p.m. Eastern time. That is in two hours. Get your name in the chat right now if you want a shout out. Please, if you are in here and you're on your way out right now, I don't know how many likes we have, but YouTube, for some reason, really appreciates people who click the like button. It helps them share the video with new people. It helps feature the video and so on. It doesn't necessarily make you watch my video anymore if you decide later that you don't like me. But it really does help if you click the like button. So click the like button on your way out if you haven't already. Let's get these shout outs going. And then we will be back in two hours at 3 p.m. Eastern time and so on. So, shout outs, here they come. Run the bread. Shout out to you, bro, Mr. Anything Tech, Joey Face, Johnston Town, Lex Luther, Kibakazi, like that name, Kyle, Kyle, not Kai, Kyle, Chris, Matthew, Cup Bro again. Chris, man, shout out to you. Shout out for your boy. Absolutely, Chris HDF. Shout out to you. Vest. Steel, see you later, Mr. Anything Tech. Oil tipped until the next time. Oh, yes, the show's all. See you later. We will. La Ben Tube, I uh, like here too. Thank you very much, man. Weirdo, check your lips later. I will, dude. I'll check my lips. No for, no problem. Frank, Raheem, Ugan, and Toe, David, DD214, B Hayes, Jesus Peace, still in here. Andrew, see you later. Frodo, see you later, my man. And thank you guys very much for being in here, hanging out. Make sure to check all the links in the description below. All that good stuff. 
And uh, Jacob, shout out to you, Doc Airline, Rob Lowe just joined up. Thank you very much, man. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already, because I know that 40 plus percent of you do not subscribe to the channel. So just click that subscribe button. Let's go 33,000, guys. We can do this. We can do this today if you actually click, click the subscribe button. And uh, Rob is here and holding. Very nice, Rob. Uh, over watch, we are leaving, but it's okay. Supreme Scientist, Cognitive Resonance, Deepak. We will be back later, guys. Thank you very much for being in here. And it is time. If you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day. Oh my gosh. OT! Right before I click the button, man. OT, thank you for the super chat. OT, thank you for the super chat. OT, Thank you for the super chat. And he's dragging it out just a little bit longer. So thank you for the super chat. OT, I appreciate it, man. All of the super chats, guys. I never want to miss them. Thank you very much, OT. I appreciate the support. And uh, now we will be leaving. So Ruben, Jerry, TNA, Jesu, and Michael Allen. Shout out to all of you guys. So thank you very much, OT. And if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.